enough to beat radio. Best station in the world. It's not pretty good or nothing. It's not acceptable or nothing. And it's definitely not close enough or nothing. Mercedes-Benz SUVs were built, designed, and engineered with only one mission in mind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Goddess Jazzy Show. You're with your host, Goddess Jazzy. Welcome on this Tuesday and sad Tuesday. Rest in peace to the Queen and mm -hmm. hope you all do well. Today I'm here joined with my beautiful guest Michelle and her wonderful son Hakim. Say hello. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Really telling me people good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get into it. Right. Let's, let me um, tell you a little bit about Michelle. You know what? Let me start from the beginning. I met Michelle at Mo Gilligan's show, yeah? She was there busy talking, talking away, right? I'm there waving, waving like I'm anything anyway, and she was just too busy. But then I cornered her the other day at the makeup school, and I was so happy that she obliged to come on the show today. Of yes. course. Thank you so much. No worries. You know? So Michelle is a 37 year, years young, actually. God, she looks great. Look at her figure. Lord have mercy. Her lovely figure here. And she's a mother of two, a security guard, and a part-time school teaching assistant. Yes. So what type of security do you do? any security yeah so i do weddings i've done i'm um, let me not say funerals because if i say funeral i'm yeah. lying it's because there's so much funerals happening nowadays that's right yeah. yeah so it's weddings parties door as in so you, your tough stuff then yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. how do you feel about that hakeem your mum being tough like that um obviously i wish i was there sometimes isn't it because yeah. like you know if my mum's a security guard i mean one time when i'm out she's defending me in it as well yeah. <laughs> i just want to be out and Oh, that's good, huh? So, also, I'm here with Hakeem, who's 20 years old, yeah. and he's a father to a two-year-old. Oh, bless Indeed. you. How old, what is your two-year-old, a girl or boy? Yo. And what's her name? Nia. Nia. Yeah. And what's it like being a young father? You know what, yeah, it changes your perception on life so much quicker, because yeah. you think, like, as you grow older, mm -hmm. like, if you have a child, as you grow older, like, in due time, you'll get the maturity and stuff, mm -hmm. when, it, yeah. when it comes with having a child. But, like, it's like, because oh, I had it when I was 17. 17? Yeah, wow. it was like... It was like, it was 17 turning 18, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I was 16. You were 16, I'm you were 16. I was 16 turning 17 when I had him. Oh, I was 17 turning 18. Yeah. He yeah. So he did a better than me. Yeah, so obviously when she was born, it was like, as soon as she was born as well, it wasn't. Mm. It didn't take a while. Like, as soon as she was born, I realised like, the maturity just came, innit? So, yeah. yeah, I guess Yeah, I grew up quite quickly, but I think that's better. Did yeah. you do everything within the baby? Like, change the nappies? Did you cut the baby? Uh, you, okay, the maddest that? thing is, yeah, the maddest thing is, yeah, I didn't change nappies for like a year, but it's because I don't like poo, innit? So that's your no, baby. Yeah, no, but that's what? the only thing though. That's the only thing. Smell it. it. No, 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 no. Do you think us as mothers we have to turn our nose and say, you know what, I can't change this? No, we have to get in and do it. I honestly feel bad for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do now, obviously, innit? But yeah, yeah, yeah it was a bit So for a whole first. year, you didn't change baby's um, nappy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you heard it in, out here. So let's get into it. So, Miss Michelle. Yes. You are on a show. Wait, I wanna before I get to that show, you was on Come Dine with me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Listen. What did Tell I us about it. I made at the time, yeah. Yeah. You know when somebody calls you, they ask you to be on a show, so you just lie. Mm. I lied. Did I made you? up one one ingredients, <laughs> one recipe. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I made it up. It was like pineapple and rice. The thing is, mm. let me not lie. I've made it before. Yeah. But when you cook in your own house, it's not the same as cooking in somebody else's house. Okay. So when I was doing the show, I didn't actually cook in my house. Oh. Because of the COVID and the stuff. COVID. Okay. They hired like some fancy massive mansion thingy mm. and we all cooked there. Yeah. The only thing that they did was change the tablecloths okay. to make it look like he was in different houses. Different houses. We was in the same house. Yeah. So what they did is they did me dirty because the ingredients and stuff that I, they were meant to buy, they didn't buy it. Oh, then they no. tried to do the whole, just make chicken with salt and pepper. Are you dumb? <laughs> Come on. Are you, are you dumb? <laughs> like, there's one thing, burning chicken, which I would have preferred to burn the chicken, yeah. but you're going to make me make out like I don't know how to season food. Yeah. I love it. No. Know, my, my family's Jamaican. I'm Jamaican and Ghanaian. <laughs> don't, like, you're not about to do that to me. Like, I was not having it. I was like, if you don't bring me ingredients, mm. I'm just not going to cook. I, I don't yeah. care to be on the show. I will never watch the show again because mm. I know that you guys tried to do me like that. Gosh. But it was mad. Like, even the tablecloths, they decorated the whole table so they... 
What did you cook? What did you end up cooking? Oh, so I made rice in vegetable rice in, a, in pineapple. Mm. I had to pretend that I couldn't cook rice. Oh yeah, it was all God. mad. It was all a setup, so I had to call my friend. <laughs> and then I made it, that. It was mad. And then I made barbecue wings. Yeah. And then I made lamb chop. So no. So the starter was pineapple, bar pineapple chili barbecue wings. Have in mind. Can I just say I made it before and it actually bangs. I'm actually gonna make it. Yes, and bring it for you. You must. So you can taste that. You must. Did and you need to really trade this because I know that you've got your company. Hey, hey, you think hey, I'm joking? Hey. Size A. Oh. Hey. Don't worry. <laughs> so I did that as a starter, and then the main was lamb chops mm. with um, vegetable rice in a pineapple with macaroni and cheese. In, in the actual. In pineapple. an actual pineapple, like literally, you just cut well, cut it and cut the pineapple fruit in half, and then just take out the inside, squeeze okay. out the juice. And then just make sure, for me, I mm. make sure the pineapple is dry. Right, the right. The inside, yes. then you add the rice. And then oh, if you want to add, yeah, mm. then if you want to just scrape out the ice, the inside and just add it to the rice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so what, did, what was the dessert? Uh, pineapple crumble. <laughs> yeah, everything was pineapple. It, I made, literally, when they called me, I was just making it up as I go along. And my friend is like, have you ever made pineapple crumble? I said, bro, what you got to do is open the tin put some pineapple in the thing, add some crumble, and there, boom, it's done. And that's what I did. They tried to give me some idiot school talking about everything he did is from a tin. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, that's how so they were. My food was actually nice. Like, it was actually made from scratch. So did you win, Michelle? Definitely not. I came last. <laughs> Definitely not. I came last. Do you know I'm going to Google it to watch yeah, it? I have to. I, I have came to last. Last. Finally. So how do you feel about your mum doing this, hacking your... Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. obviously it's it's quite funny, you know, because all my friends like they'll they'll send me Snapchats, Instagrams, whatever. Yeah. Oh, I saw the one on TV, fam. I'll be like, <laughs> okay, come on, innit? I, saw, I knew she was on TV, innit? So obviously I knew it was coming, innit? But um, I think the biggest thing is, yeah, mm. it, do you know what the maddest thing was for the come dining with me one, yeah. Yes. It was the fact that do you remember when the son put, put, uh, posted about you? Oh yeah, the son oh. yeah. started cussing me. And yeah. that that was funny, yeah, yeah, because obviously all my friends were messaging me like, mm. hey bro, did you see what they posted about your mum? I was yeah. like. Huh? Yeah, they were cussing because yeah. my nails are long. Jazzy, if you still have my nails, yeah. Normally and you were my just nails touching the chicken, no yeah. gloves. Oh, so yeah. they're complaining. Oh. They were complaining. Oh, yeah. yeah, her nails are. Don't can't miss ladies and miss man them that was complaining. Calm down. Normally my nails are like here. Is it? Jazzy, my nails was here. And they still. And you. Oh my god, I'm disgusted. I'll oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm not disgusted because if you sat with me and I was cooking, you'd eat the food same yes. way, relax. My hands were clean. The chicken was clean. <laughs> These times I've watched come down with me where cat jump up on the table and oh, gosh, you want to give lick from spoon yeah. oh, to dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't yeah. think about that as well. Yeah, no, but you want to complain, right? but I washed my hands. Mm. All I kept on doing till the point my hands were dry. Dry. So let's not. That's why we're never cussing me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not talking about me, I ain't nobody. So continue to talk and cuss me. <laughs> so um. So prior to that, after that, which a show I did watch was Black and British. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. All I can say is wow with that. Well done you and well Thank done you, you Hakeem. Okay. Honestly, how was that? Do you know what? It was a good mm. experience, you know? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good experience. For, for me, mm. I was, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was just like, I'm going to go into a Big Brother house and just get recorded and then come out. I'm yeah. not going to lie and be a celebrity and then be going on red carpets, I said to God. It wasn't At least you're keeping it real. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought it was. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to go get a blue tick on Instagram, promote my son's music, someone's going to find him and yeah. then I don't have to work. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking in my head. I didn't even, I understood the show, but I didn't really understand the depths mm. of it until I actually got onto the show and I was like, no, this is real serious topics yeah, here. Like, this is yeah. real life stuff you guys are talking about. Mm. So for me, it was a good experience and anything I do, I always like to say, Hakeem, listen, come. That's good, bring, yeah. bring you into it because yeah. you don't know who's watching you don't know who's going right. to see you you don't know who's going to say you know what he's a young man he's got a bright future we could yes. do something with him so good yeah. so come but the story was my story was about him anyway so he mm. had to be on it and stuff like that but yeah it was a good experience man obviously i didn't like someone on the show because they just the That's whole much yeah the, the whole one. yeah in it, in it, in it. <laughs> if you watched it you know yeah, you know i know which one. one i know which yeah. one dominique even i was screaming like, like she's getting she's getting on my nerves doing no. everything Damn. statistics statistics for me i'm not gonna okay i went i went to school didn't get no gcse didn't go college didn't go uni didn't get no phd and all of that cool whatever mm -hmm. but my thing is not but all you got statistics. life skills you right got life skills. not yeah. all statistics are right mm. i don't care I know the sort. This the film. The show's called Black and British. Who was the person that? Oh, who is the people that make the statistics? The people are majority white. Mm. The majority of them are white. So if they turn around and tell black people the statistics show is that, yeah, that that's it. Mm -hmm. If you live in, if it's known that if a child grows up in a single parent household, they're prone to go to jail than somebody that comes from a two parent household. Who told you that? No, that's completely. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who, who told you that? Mm. I'm not saying it's not right, and I'm not saying it's wrong. Mm. But who told you that? statistics who's the statistics, statistics a white man though, yeah 
Oh, yeah. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to do black, it doesn't mean what they're telling us is right. It's right. Because yeah. Hakeem lives in a single parent household. Mm -hmm. You can never go jail. Yeah. I will tell you that for free. You can never go jail. Yeah. Just like you're not allowed to gallivant on the street. Mm -hmm. He asks him and asks his sister, my daughter, she's on holiday now gallivanting with her friends, but she's 18. Yeah. After school, when they were in secondary school, they weren't allowed to go to their friend's house. Mm. You finish school, you come home. Yeah, yeah, that's well, I don't Well, can mind. I go to my friend's house? Why? <laughs> what, what? No, my, and I, 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 I used to question them to the point they'll just be like, forget, I don't want to yeah, go. Yeah, no, yeah. why do you want to go there? I what? think it's not easy enough. Nah, it's not man. easy being a single parent. I'll tell you that for enough. It's not I easy. I was in lockdown before lockdown was a thing. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> and I go to my friend's house. No. Your, your, their holiday started on Saturday mm -hmm. and it finished. Literally. It started Saturday morning and it finished Saturday evening because Sunday you need to prepare yourself for school. Yeah, this is and then you go Monday after school club. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of yeah, course. Man. So after school club, so you can you want activity? Yes. Do something after school because I know where you are. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to finish school. Why is it taking you two hours to get home? <laughs> yeah. School is twenty minutes. There. Yeah, and yeah. I will leave my work to drive around. You come here, car now. <laughs> and then all you hear is, oh S, yeah. is that your mum? Yeah. What? And then I'll, and then he'll get in the car and I'll cuss all of his friends <laughs> yes. and run them home. They just all I know they didn't go home, but I'm not parent. I don't care. Oh you think I care? I'll cuss your friends. Yeah. So this day his friends will say They know your number play, that's why. Yeah, yeah. when they see my license plate. Like, and, like, and, like, and, <laughs> and then everybody will turn around, yeah, car now. Why are you all gallivanting on the street and they'll all be like, Oh, we're going home. Yeah, go home now. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about your mum and your dad. I'll go home. Yes. Can I go mum? Can I do the after school club? Yeah, what's that? Is that from your own childhood? Was your childhood like that yourself? Mm, mm, not to a certain extent. My mum would let me go to my friend's house after school. Because oh. remember, I was born in 1985. So 90, okay, the 80s, 1998, yeah. the yeah. 90s, our, our thing was knock down ginger, play mm. on your bikes. There was no really knife crime. No. My mum just used to make me come home early. Okay. So on the weekend. So you were allowed to sleep at your friend's house yeah. and all that? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. You came yeah, from yeah. a different school than yeah. me then. Mm -mm. I was allowed. My kids couldn't know. No. Where kids are allowed to stay at yours? No. Like his friend. <laughs> Were you staying at my house before? <laughs> no. I ain't nowhere for you to sleep. There's three rooms. His room and my daughter's room. No, you're not staying. But my cousins were allowed to sleep because that's, that's, that's family. family yeah. Yeah. Oh, my cousins are so asleep. No, there's no room. And then he used to just look at me. Oh, they can sleep on the floor. I said no. Yeah. <laughs> and that would be, can I go to their house when? After school? No, you can go on a Saturday. Oh, mm -hmm. but I can go on a Friday. The answer's just no. No. Well. For what? Yeah, they used to hate me. Oh, uh, yeah, so then they'll be like, oh, can I go to my cousin's house, the Shani's house? Yeah, yeah, you can go. Yeah. But they will go there, but they'll take the long route. Mm. So you're going to see all of your friends. First. Then, then get, get there. there. So when I call my auntie, is Hakeem and Shani there? No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, we're going to Anshan. Why? Why? Wait, hold on. Why did it take you three hours to get there? Oh, uh, because of Shani. Put Shani on the phone. A Shani be like, <laughs> yeah. and then I can hear a Shani. Bro, your mom's going to cuss me. Yeah, wh why did it take you guys so long? <laughs> Hakeem would be like, fam, you take it because I ain't taking it. Yeah. Him oh, and my daughter, gosh. No. But you wouldn't change your mum though, would you, Hakeem? No, no, obviously. Tell me. No, nah, not even. Um, with my mum, obviously, I think everybody thinks she's more strict than she is, isn't it? But yeah. like, it's not even. Tell that the deep, truth. You get the beatings. Tell the truth. What when I was younger? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that's because I was a bit unruly when. Well, no, I wasn't even unruly. This yeah, is... but I, yeah, I was a little bit. Innit? Like. <laughs> I got a bit too gassed when I got into secondary school, innit? So yeah. it was a bit, yeah. That was, was a, bit... a hard, I think that's the hardest, mm -hmm. isn't it? When they get there. Oh gosh, you don't want to listen, do anything, you know? Mm -mm. Do, you keep your clean, do you keep your room clean? Yes. Oh, that's, that's cool, what You know, that's yeah. actually one thing that I like to say that I learned from my mum, yeah, that I would never like, because mm. I don't like dirt at all, innit? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And at yeah. first, it was like, I would be like a little bit messy and stuff like that, yeah, and I like, leave stuff around because I don't really care, yeah? Mm. And then I used to get cut so much to the point, yeah, my, when my friends used to be messy, it was like, bruv, why don't you just clean your room? Wow, so your mum is still that into you, which is yeah, really, yeah, really yeah. good, that's, you know? That's one thing that I always say, like, I, I would like, I, I like to take that with as I grow up in it, just mm -hmm. being clean, because being clean is a big thing, innit? So. so tell me something, was your mum really shocked when you found out she's going to be a grandma? Oh, right, that was mad. Yeah. You know, I didn't even tell her, you know. Oh. My daughter's mum told her, yeah. No, it was Nadia. Was it Nadia? Who told, told Nadia told you. Because you told Nadia. I was on holiday. Oh. Nadia told me. She told me she didn't tell you. Nadia did tell me. That oh I lied to you. Gosh. Nadia, I watched well, Nash knows. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, I saw his mad. baby mother before he told me. And I knew, because she, she's skinny. Yeah. So you saw. there is no way someone as skinny as you. Yeah. To be fair, she wasn't that skinny at the time. She used to have body, like batty breasts. Yeah. She had like a figure. So, But she had no stomach. Mm. What people are paying for is what she had. Yeah. So the BBL, she already had that, but without the surgery. That's how her body naturally okay. was. So one time I saw her, and I was thinking, <laughs> this girl is pregnant. And I, I secretly think she wanted me to see it on purpose. Yeah. So she kind of did some, I don't know, but I was side eyeing her from in the high shoe. But <laughs> she thought I didn't see her because at the time I didn't really like her. Yeah. So when I saw her belly, I said to my friend, Chantal, I said, mm. she's pregnant. 
She said, was that for real? I said, yeah, I'm going to see. I said, I see, I'm going to see how long it takes Hakeem to tell me. She said, okay. I went on holiday. Yeah. He told my friend, my friend called me, are you sitting down? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got something oh, important. Oh, yeah. yeah. holiday. Ooh. But my friend was at the time, because hey. yeah. I don't chat to her no more. But at the time, she was making me vex. She was like, you need to sit down. Okay, go. I've got something important to tell me. She was making it so yeah. dramatic to the point. I was like, now I'm not sitting down. I'm standing up yeah, and I'm angry. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, Hakeem got so-and-so pregnant. I and said, then she called me. Um, so this guy's pregnant. What? Yeah, I said, <sighs> I told Nadia. I was like, what, is that it? She said, yeah. I said, come off my phone, man. I already knew. So I called Hakeem. So Sky's pregnant. He said, yeah. And I said, okay. I already knew because I saw her in case. <laughs> and I, bye, man. I thought you were going to tell me something so dramatic. Like, is that it? After, I can't. And I always say, when people say, oh, if it was my mum, I'd be vexed. What am I going to be vexed about, please? Mm, no, no, no. Yeah. Even if I said to him, don't have it. What? He's not pregnant. Yeah. She is. She is. Yeah. And she wants the baby. Mm. Okay, so where do, where do we go from there? Okay, I kick him out of the house. Okay. The baby's yeah. still there. It's still there, yeah. So where really do we true. go from here? You do, just know, I can be the grandma and do the babysitting, mm -hmm. but when I'm ready, there's your baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going on road, I'm going on road, bye. Do you get what I'm saying? He does what he needs to do, yeah. so what's the problem? Wow. Look at and that. he'll grow up with his granddaughter, so my granddaughter will be here hopefully in a couple of years, sitting right there. Sitting there, oh. yeah. He's here and she's there. <laughs> it's true, yeah. there. I just don't want to hear, oh pregnant. yeah, have a bit, yeah, nah, yeah. That's what, I'm not trying to hear that's that. Exactly. Like, oh, pregnant, yeah. 18 going on 19. Well, my grandma oh. was 16, 17. 16, my grandma yeah. was 17, 18. Well, I'm 18, 19, yeah. Oh, I'll be like, it's all right. <laughs> oh, bless you. So, you work as a part-time warehouse worker. So what does that do? What do you do? You mean? Yeah, you hack him, um, sorry. Oh yeah, no, sorry, I was, I was. I'm gonna be jumping own. back and forth like. Oh that. yeah, yeah, oh. that's cool. Um, like, not, not much in it. It's mostly just picking stuff up, like I'm bringing stuff. Yeah. Stuff down can I get anything from it? Because I'm somebody who just wants everything. Is there anything I can get from there? Oh, you talking about my, my business? Yeah, your work. Oh, oh you're talking about like and, an actual no, job. No, your work, your job first, and that after. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get something. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No, <laughs> oh, okay. No, well, obviously, for my job, you can't really get anything. Can't get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, no, to be honest, back in the day, we couldn't get something. I yeah, just asked. I don't even know? get anything. The most I can bring you is probably like a pen or something. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll leave that. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about your business. Oh yeah. When did it start, and what made you go into it? Um, what was so your reason behind it? Originally, when did my business start? I don't even know. What year were you? We're 20, in um, 2022, and we are, uh, okay. September. So 2023, April, uh, that's where we come up to our oh. second year of being up. It yeah. started April the 4th, 2021, and I've been, I have planned it like two years before that. Nice. Um, How many is in the team? Is there a, have you got a team? Yeah, there's people? like... Yeah. There's like there's about eight or nine of us. I think. Yeah. yeah. Shout them out. Shout them out. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Saying that, um, obviously, quick shout out to AJ because yeah. he's part of my team. Yeah. So like, he's, yeah, he obviously helped me from the beginning. And like yeah. when I when I first started doing this, I had no money, like nothing mm. in it. And um, obviously, this was before I got a job and whatever. Yes. And um, I remember my uh, my friend AJ Abdullah. He's always had money in it, mm -hmm. and I didn't have money these times. But obviously, the money my mom was giving me, it was good in it. But it wasn't like enough to start a brand in it. Yes. And I remember. Um, he just said to me one day, he was like, oh, like, obviously I know you do music as well, like, do you want me to pay for your music video? Ooh. And then obviously we can work out a deal on how you pay me back. That's a good friend to Yeah, so I was like, calm, 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 yeah, let's do that, whatever. Mm. And then obviously I've always been into sneakers as well, innit? So mm. he was like, well, if, and I also like know people who have followers here and there on Instagram, innit? Yeah. So he was just like, bro, like, why don't we just start a reselling thing? And I was like, yeah, what? Obviously I'm very good at promotion and marketing, innit? Okay. And he's very good at getting stuff sourced. So he's the plug and I'm the pattern is what we call it, innit? Because right. I'm able, anything he gets, I'm able to basically So wait a minute, stop a minute, you just taught me something, so plug and pattern. Yeah. You're not going to get old, so <laughs> oh, I just oh, learned oh, that myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just you learned know, that you myself. Know, you need to know these yeah, things. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. So my son said something, I said, plug and pattern. <laughs> 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 I let him be known, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, keep going, continue. No, but, um, yeah, obviously, he, he's been my best friend since like year four as well, isn't it? Mm. So obviously, it was one, one of those things where he knew I wasn't going to rob him and I knew he wasn't doing it because of some like ulterior motive, innit? Yeah. It was How all, long have you known him? Literally, uh, when did we move to... So we, it, from 2000... I was in year four, innit? I was in year four when we first came, so... Oh, I don't so it's a little... So, yeah. Little 2000 still. and... I don't know, but but a good yeah. Question. I'm just yeah, trying to figure, remember when I got the job in Matalan, so 2013, 2014. Yeah, like mm. yeah so and he come just like that. You took that's so yeah. He was because he, he was my first, like he was my first. He was the first person or one of the first people I became friends with in primary school when I first joined. And mm. then since then we had same secondary school. Yeah. And after secondary school we just stayed friends even though he goes uni and stuff, innit? Mm. And I remember he just said like he said to me like oh yeah like I will invest in whatever you're doing da 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 da. 
And then when you're ready to come with a deal, let me know in it. And then when I when I was ready to come come to him with a deal, um, mm. obviously I said to him, I'll give you twenty percent where I, whatever I make in it. Yes. And then all of my other friends, um, obviously were just like, yeah, like obviously I, I promoted the idea to them, and mm. then they all got behind the idea. Each person put in two hundred each in it, and then mm. we started with like something like so one thousand something. Yeah. And then from there, obviously we just started building higher in it. So obviously shout out to everybody from mm. K World, shout out to AJ, shout out to Mason, Nagi, all of them people. Nice. Were well you, done, you know, young man. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really proud of you it's but really yeah. good yeah. anyway so what can i get that's what i want to know uh, you know what yeah <laughs> just keep what? it real you what, what can i get i am promotion marketing you know so obviously if you just let me know what you like you can i have you know everything what i'm, I'm a size eight there. if you've got traders i'm a size eight yeah, I don't, okay. we do, yeah we do i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't think we've got anything size eight at the moment you've got but no you size know eight. if you um best way to do it is obviously after all of this i can like you can just like give me Most colors i am going you know to say yeah if you're a mad discount i'm not gonna lie but this card's running for days isn't it um because one of the biggest things we like to give back in it yeah so oh, that's um, good. With, yeah. with my products and stuff when we uh do ship it or go meet the, uh, our clients or whatever mm. we do tend to give a lot of free stuff yeah so it, it could be anything random like we have nando sauce but then it goes to like led lights toys for oh, children and this you. and that in mm. it so, yeah, so uh, it's good. more about giving back and you're it. only 20. the so when i hear things like this it really touches my heart because a lot of 20 year olds now are not doing something like what you're doing mm. they haven't got that focus you know mm, mm, mm. and everything but um yeah no it's it's really good i'm really proud I appreciate of you that. thank you so I'm going to go back to your mum. There is something called send nudes. What's that about, mum? Oh my God! <laughs> what so have you said? No, so there's a new show. I got a new show coming out, and it's with Channel Four. Yeah. This is mad, yeah. I didn't know what it was. Again, if somebody asks me to be on a show, yeah, I just say how much like how much do you guys pay? Yeah. You straight away ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I ain't got time. But I, I need money. I, I don't have time. It's, it's long. I'm not doing. I don't like. This is yeah. for you. Yeah. I would never have asked you for money mm -hmm. or nothing like that. But when you're Channel 4, Channel yes, 5, yes. you guys make money. Yeah, so budget, how yeah. much? Like, what's, what's... So you just ask straight like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What, what, I know what I can bring to your show. Yeah. You put me on Big Brother, I can guaranteed views. Guar mm. I might not win, but you'll definitely get views. I'll tell yeah. you that for free. Yeah. So they said to me, oh, we'll pay this, this, this. And I said, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So I went, I did everything. I didn't realise until when I was watching an advert the other day that you like, are going to actually see me naked. What? But what they do is they blur what it out. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but you don't see me actually na naked. Like, naked. So like, I get naked, mm. but you guys don't actually see that because they blur it out. Wow. But they make me into an avatar like a cartoon. Oh, that cartoon that... is naked. So okay. it's not like, you know when you watch a cartoon and the cartoon is naked? naked they don't yeah. really draw the nipples. Really, yeah. To, it's more... It's just literally, a, it, it, I look mm. like a mannequin. Okay, so you see when you go right. and you see a mannequin and you just see the V. So you went, you asked for money. And then... <laughs> and became oh God, a stripper. You became a stripper. Literally. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, I it wish was, it was that easy for me, you know what I'm saying? Like literally, <laughs> it was so mad because they... They so have you done me, it already? I did it last year. Oh, did you? Yeah, so it's going to come out soon. So i give you the joke. So yeah. my episode was meant to come out September the 14th. So Ooh. I was like, okay, I was one of the first people to film and they were gas. Oh, we love it. Blah, blah, Cool. Yeah. So then they called me the other day and was like, hi, Michelle. I was like, yeah, hi, blah, blah, blah. They were like, yeah, so your show's coming out soon. Your episode's coming out. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They were like, okay, but the producer, we loved it so much. I was like, yeah, she, um, she was like, we've decided to put you on series two. Oh. I'm like, okay. Straight away, I'm vexed because I know what you're going to tell me. Because when they sent me the email, mm. it said series two comes out next year. Okay. This is series, series one. one. <laughs> series two comes out next year. So obviously, I was laughing. I was like, shame to whoever's coming out next year. Man, that's long. <laughs> that's, I was saying it to myself, bending up like, yeah, that's long. Then she calls me to say, we want to put you on the second episode of C series two because mm. the um, producers and everybody loves you. They want you to basically end the show. I said, okay, but see, season two, series oh two comes out gosh. August of next year. They said, yeah, I said, bye. I just yeah. put the phone down. Bro, I did all of that. Ain't no one gonna care about it next year. I was on a roll, like, yeah. I've got black and British, I've got to come down with me, and yeah. I've got to send nudes. You guys have to just push back next year. No one cares. Because oh. by the time it hits next year, it'll be like, okay. No one cares. I would have <laughs> what, what was the experience like, though? Again, it was, no, it was, was it good. good. Yeah, was they, good? like, they paid Did you feel anything when you was getting naked? Did nah, I didn't really care. No? If you said to me, get naked now, well, I won't, because my son's here, yeah, yeah. I don't get naked. I don't really. It's good, but you got a great figure. So yeah, that, right I think that's why I don't care. Yeah. yeah, I don't business. Yeah, but at the time, he was like, there's only three people in the room, and three of the people mm. were women. Like, okay. two, two women and a man, cameraman. But the same cameraman, I've worked with him on different shows, because sure, I did before. tattoo fixes and stuff, and he remembered mm. me, and he was like, it's the same guy when we did that thing on BBC Two. 
when we was eating the cereal, you know me and you and Rihanna, when we went into that building. Oh, what the, Kingston, um, yeah, what, the and I did guys. the iPlayer thing? Yeah. And he, what, he recognised mm. yeah, he he like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, so I've done a couple you. of shows. Yeah. So he recognised so me. And I said, okay, so today's the day that you're going to see my batty then. Oh. He started bending up. Yeah, so I was just like, I don't really care. Yeah. But I said to them, I'm not going to be naked on the show. They said, no. God, You'll see, because what they've done is, where the camera is, covers the breast. Right, okay, so everything And then all the lights and stuff is covered, oh, okay. and then it goes, because I watched a little bit of the show, I said, let me see how this plays out. Mm. It's literally blurry. Okay, that's the good, The actual yeah. naked body's blurry, and then you go into the studio, and then you see yourself mm. as a cartoon on the actual... That must have been nice still, isn't yeah. it? See I yourself. look good. I was yeah. like, wow, I look good as an avatar. What? <laughs> I mean that. But... Because people, unless you see it, people mm. don't know I'm going to be on it unless they've seen the adverts. Oh. And I can't find the adverts with me on it. Okay. For me to even just say, guys, I'm going to be on this show. I can't even promote it because I don't even know where, don't it know where it is. I've okay. gone on the Insta, I've gone on um, YouTube, YouTube and stuff, can't find it mm. with me in it. But people message me, I just saw you doing it. Yeah, that's me, but where did you see it? The next time, record it and send it to me. Yeah. Oh, so. wow. So, all right, we're going to have a little break. I'm going to play one of my tunes, which is... Let's hope, and you don't laugh. I normally get into problems when I'm trying to do my music here, right? So you just have to allow me, as the young people say. Hold on, hold on. Right, I'm going to play um, Aswad. Oh, God, it's only come out. Sorry, peeps. You know what it's like. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's you know, soon come. You yeah. know, you have to just wait and everything else. Yeah, I'm going to play. Is um, this your favourite song? You know what, it's because he died last week, I think it was. Really? Yeah, the um, drummer, Zebby drummer. Did you, you no. been listening? Where have you been? I don't I'm know. telling you, you know that, because I don't watch TV. Oh, you don't? No. None at all? No. Oh. If I want to watch stuff, I do, I, um, Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. Oh, you're, you're one of the rich yeah, people there. Oh, I okay. Wish, mm. I wish. Sorry, I, me, I just use the TV. Sorry, I can't afford <laughs> I, I can't afford it. My boyfriend pays. <laughs> okay, shout out to your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> Thanks for paying for it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to play um, Shine by Aswad. One second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, people. Hold on. Wait. And now. Oh, what's happened to the fuck? Oh yeah, there we go. Now you can have a bit of a breather. Nice, nice. Who died? The, he so he... the one, the this one, oh. Zebi. He was sixty-two, but oh, we don't wow. know what he died of. And I used to fancy him back in the eighties. He just died. Oh, he just died. That's mad. My friend Chantel went to a funeral. Went, went yeah. to a thingy yesterday. The boy just died. Her friend's brother. They found on? him in a garden, just dead. No, even nothing. when he had an autopsy, they were like, they don't know why what Natural he died of. Causes. He just literally died. What? And then my friend got um, killed. The thing is, I don't know if he got killed, but he's dead. And um, we found mm. that he died. He died on Thursday, but we found out on Saturday that he died. But the family's keeping it hush hush. They're not saying if he got murdered, murdered or something or over here. Or... Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. What is going and on? And he's very popular, so everyone's like, we want to know what happened to Kobe. Mm. But the family's keeping it under keeping hush. It under... But then one of the sisters opened their mouths and told a friend or something. Mm. that the police said it's a murder investigation so if that's the case then say, let us know let us know you're just it? not saying nothing you're putting oh it out there but you're not saying to us he died what is going of... on but anyway we're getting to that when we're online to to, yeah. to escalate yeah what's happening in this world man I'm mm. telling you. how are you feeling hakeem me yeah you took your I'm mask off great. thank god <laughs> yeah i can't lie yeah it's the worst thing because i can't even breathe when it's online <laughs> i mean i can but like you know this is just what it's all oh gosh Oh no, this is good. So yeah, I was just doing a tribute to because he died. I know, mm -hmm. Yeah, back in the eighties, I used to fancy him. I won't lie to you. I said to my partner recently, and he's like, mm, "How could you fancy him?" I said, "Cause he, you know, he's proper black. You're a little bit black, <laughs> see ya." <laughs> you know, they get on your nerves you have to say something like, like that. Yeah, you're not full black. <laughs> you're not full black. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, he is, but it's too light. This one is pure black. Black, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh God, help us. Mm -mm. Oh. That's good. Oh God. Hello everyone. Everyone's tuned in. She's great. Oh lovely. This is a nice song. Yeah, it's good. It's that it good, is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm very proud. Very, very proud. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Like I said, I've been on Asian ones and it was just like every minute was this, that. Oh Jenny, can you do that? Da, da, da. I'm so Oh, would it be like they would give you the notes as well? And what's yeah, the, and everything, yeah. you know, no is, music. Is it, is it like heavily sensitised, isn't it? Yeah, very. That, and you have yeah. to be careful. Like I had a gay black, um, HIV priest come on. Oh, mm, wow. their nose turn up Dead. because I was about talking about it to everyone. It's yeah. not. I'm not going to have just set 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 people. Yeah, their yeah. nose turn up because they don't believe in this and that and all. Oh. Yeah, it was hard. 
Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's it was actually real. Imaginal. It was hard. Yeah, for real. You know? So everything, they had cameras everywhere, you could see, I could feel them looking and oh, it was awful. Yeah. But the experience was good. So what did so. you talk about, like the politics that's going the, on in our country and stuff? Yeah, and um, so especially my guest that time, um, he was kicked out of Nigeria because of being gay. And he had he had a child. Wow. And, um, he contracted HIV. And yeah. he's a priest of hey, what? Um, Church of England. Yeah. He got kicked out of Nigeria yeah, for being gay and had gay. a child. Yeah, the child. He was in a straight relationship. Oh, I was thinking, how did that all come out? Then came out well, that came he was gay. Out. Oh, damn. So you hurt two people, you know, mm. yeah. the, the child and the mum. There was know? a news reporter that did that as well, wasn't it? Is um, it? On, who, who, you know, my man from the morning show. What's his name? The one with the grey hair. I don't know. You don't watch, you, that's why you watch Wait, I don't show. know where your mum's been. Maybe she's in the. In the you watch yeah. the morning show. The morning yeah. show. What's the morning is that, show? Um, the news. Do you not remember? You used to play it like, literally every day. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Britain. Every day. Oh, yeah. Good clock. morning, Britain. Yeah. yeah. You remember yeah. that guy with the grey hair? The black guy? No, the white guy. Oh. Right, 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 right. Okay. Welcome back to the Goddess Jazzy Show. I hope you liked that song, Shine by Aswad. Rest in peace to De Deb. What's his name again? Yeah, that one. I can't remember his name. It's gone out of my head. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Then, Dibby, Debbie. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, Aswad. But anyway, let's get back to it. So, we were talking just now about... Are we going to talk about... Yeah, we were going to talk about black people in Britain mm -hmm. and the UK justice system. What do you mm -hmm. think about it and what do you think needs to change and go forward? Before? You want to go first, Hakim? Yeah. Oh, me? Um. Yes, as a young person. Yeah, even... I think... As a young person in mm. London, I think there's there's way too much going on right now, isn't it? I it's think a lot. yeah, I think um like on my side as mm. like being the person that like, the young part of the young people or whatever, I would say just bare people are dying, innit? Like you can't ask anybody my age mm. who's like who's got friends who are, you know what I'm saying, like involved in them kind of things, or even friends that aren't involved in that kind of things. Like nowadays literally everybody's just dying, like yeah. whether it's health complications, whether it's like there's I, to me personally, I think there's actually something wrong with this just everything right now, isn't it? Yeah. It just doesn't make mm -hmm. no sense, innit? Um, and I feel like with us, I think I think we just need to make an effort to not be fighting each other all the time, innit? That's the thing. I was I was listening to something, a young black guy was saying, um, it's all very well, I mean, rest in peace to, um, is his name Chris? Chris, Cub Cub yeah, Cub Cabba. Cabba. Rest in peace to him. Jesus. But the young black guy was saying, um, it's all very well us um, feeling sorry, but yet yesterday we killed someone, we got mm. a machete, we've got that. What's that mm -hmm. about? Why are we still doing this? Why are we still doing this? What's that about? We don't own no roads. We don't mm, own yeah. the road. Yeah. I don't own where I live. Mm -hmm. I don't own that road, that street. It doesn't belong to me. As soon as they want to knock it down, it's gone, isn't it? So yeah, that's, that's, that's what that's I thought as well. Um, I think, I, I don't know, because you know it is. I think mm. a lot of people want to portray an image that they don't have in it. And there's no point of that ah. as well, because I think peer pressure plays a big role. Because when I was in school, like when I was like, I, I would say before year eight, mm. no one wants to be a gangster, innit? Every... What year is year eight? Because I'm from back in the day when it's first year, oh, second, is it? third year. Oh, uh, is Year so eight, I what was... Age, what age group is that? 14. 14, yeah. 13, 13, 14, 14, yeah. Secondary school. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. go on. So when I was like around them ages, when I was like 13, below 13, I think them times it was more like, no one wanted to be a gangster, innit? Everybody wanted to be a footballer, everybody wanted mm. to be them kind of things, innit? And I feel like... Obviously now everybody's got this whole because they see rappers doing it, yes. they think that it's cool to live that life. Do you life, think they've it? got um, some part to blame as well? Who rappers? The rappers. Um, me personally, I don't think you can blame the actual rappers because mm. I feel like they're only just they're rapping about their life, isn't it? Okay. It's like it's if like it's uh, Rastafarian who raps. So yeah, if it's true, then yeah, that makes mm. sense. And it's like a Rastafarian rapping about smoking weed, isn't it? Like okay. it's just an a, everyday part of their life. So especially like if people are gonna go make music, they're gonna make music about what they're living, isn't it? Mm. What I don't appreciate is that people, guys who will go on tracks and then lie to promote themselves like they're a gangster oh. because I think if you're lying about something that's not true, you're just trying to. You're putting out false information and then the kids that are impressionable are going to look at this false information and see, cool. Mm. Because you've got the guys there who are rapping it where it's actually true yeah. and kids are already looking at them. So mm. why are you going to go on tracks and lie if you don't even live like that? You might as well just rap what you live or do what yeah, you want to do, Yeah, so it? be honest. And I feel like it's all well to blame the justice system and stuff, but mm. we also need to take steps uh, like, like as young people. As well. Yeah, we need yeah. to take steps as young people, I guess, to just not like to try to avoid these situations where we can. And I feel like with the justice system, they don't help at all. No. Like, I feel like police, mm. I feel like, in general, you meet a lot of nice police officers, but the fact that I have to say, in general, you meet a lot of nice police officers yes. is a bit like, Problem. yeah, because the majority of police officers aren't nice. Mm. That's yeah. the thing that they, and the thing is, it's not like they're, they're just, they're not nice, it's that they abuse their power as well mm. here yes. and there. So they, they'll use excessive force or they just, they won't look into something when they need to. And it's like literally something that can so easily be solved. Mm. Like there's a lot of stuff that's on social media that goes unsolved, like yeah. that police 
can't sort out. But then next thing you know, there's just random people on social media that I figured it out already, and yeah, then they yeah. brought it to police. No, my issue is mm. police. You can't solve a murder. If I drive in the congestion charge, you, you see the next day I've got a ticket. Yeah, and the picture and everything. And there was no police yeah. around and nowhere, innit? No, <laughs> you guys have zoomed in to yeah. my license plate and you Chevy sent me the, everything. Yeah. So how you managed to send me that congestion charge so quick, mm. but these times you can't you tell can't me find. who killed this person and who killed this person and who got shot here. I don't understand. Mm. Because I'm telling you now, if I go to central London now at mm. night and I drive down a bus lane, yeah. you lot can catch me. Yeah. So when that guy got, is it stabbed? Yeah. Um, in what was his Wait, name? Are you talking about Kensington? Is it Kensington? West Kensington. Oh, that's Emlo. Right. He got shot. He got Emlo. Shot. So when Emlo got, got shot, shot yeah. in West Kensington, big West Kensington, you guys can't tell me who shot him. Mm. You can't even find the car. But let me go and drive down that same road at yeah. the same time. You guys are quick to send me parking ticket and congestion mm. and fine to my house the next day. The next day yeah. Twenty-four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gosh. And even like like my son was saying about the um, police abusing their power. Mm. I I said it on Black and British not to defund the police because it wouldn't make no sense. Mm. But these police officers, they ain't got no manners. Yeah. When I, if they even tried to talk to Hakeem, I'm angry straight away. And mm. they, even if he said like the nice ones, yeah. I have no respect for them because you don't have to talk to people or you don't have to talk to black people. Mm. Like my thing is when you speak to anybody. First, start off with manners. Yeah. You start off, especially the youth them. You see, if you approach the youth them with a different, a different approach, yeah. you will find that they will respect you more because there's a group in Bre Brixton called um, Forever Family. Yeah, yeah, with um, respect. Yeah. Right. How is it all the youth respect him mm. and he's not police and mm. he will work with them. Yes. He he's basically like the police. He's mm. not the police. Respect, you're not the police. So yeah. don't bother, don't, don't, don't come <laughs> and kill me because we know you're don't not. Don't come for a police. Yeah, please. We did the show together. I'm cool. I rate everything you do. But my thing is, he's like the police. Mm. If there's a problem, people go to respect. Yeah. He will solve it. Mm. How is it he's managed to go out and collect knives? Yeah. But the police can't do it. Can't it's do the it. way he. I know Paul does that as well, isn't it? Right, that, yes. Yeah, 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 How yeah. is it these? Like I, I, I can. I'm telling you for now. Mm. If I put on my security uniform without the badge and I went round to try help the youths, mm -hmm. they will give me that respect. Yeah. I can go out and do not exactly what Raspek's doing because obviously he's had life experience yes. and he knows how to address <clears> it and he's got a whole team behind him. Mm. But I'm pretty sure if I work towards doing something like that in my own community, mm. I would get more respect than the police. People yeah. would rather call my phone than mm -hmm. call the police. Mm. I don't I don't understand it. Like it's mad. It's yeah. I think they need a new like a new um like a clean out with the police. Yeah. Just get them out yeah. and, and, and bring some new bring people something in. new yeah, fresh fresh nice, in, yeah. you know? Definitely so. I think we should just bring something fresh in because it's the same old, same old and still no result. Yeah. Look what's yeah. happening now with this um, young boy that's just recently been killed. The guy's suspended. You've killed someone. What that's what I was saying. That you... So, okay, so Mr. Police Officer, the Met of the whole of the UK. Hmm. So you're telling me that I can go out, kill someone and hmm. you man will just suspend, suspend me? Suspend you. Because I'm, I'm now a murderer. Yeah, um, yeah, Chris yeah, Cabot. Chris oh, he, they, oh, they, oh, they, oh. he said yesterday the police Ooh. have been suspended. But you're a murderer. Yeah. Oh. You've, you've just no, no, killed no. him, you're but a you're, murderer. You're, you're, you're Oh, yeah, you see that all the time, isn't it? Yeah, 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 no, you're a murderer. Mm -hmm. So what happens now then? You get suspended. And you're, and you're, and you're getting paid as well, with oh, your okay. suspension as well. Oh, okay. So what are you teaching crazy. me then? Let me become a police officer, mm. shoot people, and then, be and then just be suspended. Be We're paid. Oh, okay. And what makes it worse is the fact that he was unarmed as well. Unarmed. Yeah. It's, not even like, it's, not, it's, not even like, it's not even like you were there, you saw a gang member, he or, or had a knife in his hand, or, or he had a gun in his jacket or something. You shot a guy that was unarmed, no guns, no weapons, that can't even harm you realistically. Mm. Yeah, because you know I, I was saying to my boyfriend, how does that even work? Because it was at 21... Um, 50 at night time mm. so I said to my boyfriend if he saw that gun his hands must have been in the air yeah he must have been shouting to say I'm unarmed, I'm unarmed. He, and I said to him was he trying to wind down the window because mm. my boyfriend was like no the police just came out and shot I said it's not possible because they crashed into him mm. so that means you, he would have been driving by the way guys I'm just speculating this yeah. is this is this is not facts this is what I'm just thinking mm. this is a conversation I had with my partner so I said if you're driving, you've already shocked him because you crashed into him. Even if it wasn't a full on crash yeah. for his airbag to get released, you crashed you him. Crashed because him even when someone least. bumps me, yeah. I'm frightened. I'm like, hold on, what is that? Yeah. But you went and you deliberately crashed, crashed into him. him. So now his brain's kind of frazzled. Mm. He's kind of a little bit disorientated. Yeah. So his arms are, na he's naturally going to look in the window or mirror and look up. And look he's up. seen you guys. His hands are in the air. Mm. Why did you shoot Why him? Why did you shoot him? 
Mr. Officer Man, I need to know why you shot him. And the thing is with officers as well, they're only supposed... Well, they're supposed to give you a set of instructions before... Like, even yes. if you have a weapon on you, they're supposed to give you a set of instructions before, before. they even dis discharge their weapon, innit? Mm. Like, 100%. So, how, how is it you've had all of these years of training, done all of these exams, done all of these phys the physical same. tests and stuff, and then it comes to actually... Because you have Real to do extra life. tests when you become an armed yes. officer as well, innit? Because yeah. once you get a police officer badge, if you want to become an armed officer, you don't have, have to, to get a license for the like, gun. Yeah. So, if, if they're going to tell you, you, you do not, because you're not supposed to just, if it's an assault rifle as well, you're not supposed to discharge it. Mm. Like, you, well, you're on very rare occasions, unless the person's firing at you or your life's in danger. So I don't understand if there's an unarmed man, he's in a car and he, there's not something, you supposedly crashed into my man from the back as well. Yeah, go on. Mm. No, issue. I'm remembering, mm. what's his name? And they did the two guys that killed, what's his mm. name? What's that? Is it recent? No, this was a couple of years ago. The white man and he was, and uh, um, it was the two, like two guys, guys with the, the, the Muslims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was his name? I don't know. The white guy that they killed. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, he was in he was in the army, the cadets. No, he was in the uh, the he, he was a, a, a woman. Uh, he, yeah, he was in the army. He, he was, was in the Air army Force or something. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know his name though. The two black guys she, they're in jail you know, now. Do you not know the story? I can't remember. The they were, they if were I tell the you the guys, name, they, they, he was wearing the red in it, and then they came with the. They had machetes oh, in that. Do you remember that? In Woolwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. not far from me. Um. Oh. Rest I, in, yeah, yeah. Rest I, in peace, guys. I'm I, so sorry. My I know, memory is I know, rubbish. I know who it is. But I can't remember the name. Yes. One of them's in film, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, them two guys. Hmm. I wish I could remember his name. Them two guys. Oh, no, something in the other. Yes. Oh, no. oh God, I can't, I can't remember, remember his the name. guy's name. Hakeem, try to Google it quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just do. Yeah, yeah. That, do, I, I can't um, believe it. Yeah. Woolish but you know what? Why we're thinking of that? Look at the Sarah Everard thing. They sorted him out. Yeah, you see. So why why can't they sort this one out? Why can't he be, you know? You see, listen, oh, they yeah, pick and choose what they want to do. It's too much. They had to go on, we had, they had to go, because I wasn't there, I was at work when I was yeah. watching them go on a march. And then I you thought guys it was had, the Queen as well. Could never, watch, not even when, I, you know how much black people was I, there? I looked, it's my partner that said, have a look at this, I'm thinking, oh, so nah, man. it was the, for the young man. Yeah, said, man. no, that was good, it, it was Isn't going it? out, mm. you had the audacity to try and say, this is for the, the, queen. To, for the queen. No disrespect to the queen, by the way, I'm yeah. not sending for I don't want no one to come try to pull up on my social media because I ain't got time. But he rigged me. Lee Ring B. Yes, so, yes. Th sorry, just to go back to that quickly. Mm -hmm. Them two guys, what's the two guys' name? Uh, Killed Lee Rigby, yeah. but you man never fired nothing. Yeah. That it sounds oh, bad. I love, yeah. I love yeah. my black people. Don't get it twisted. I love my black people. Yeah. They went out to kill. Yeah. They were stabbing. And in broad right, daylight, right, and you right. might never fight. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. All try sever, mm. like take off head and let this. Mm. Yeah, no disrespect to yeah. to no one, but I'm saying that's a pure example. These men they left wherever mm. their house, made a plan to yes, yes, kill. kill. Yeah, you, I mean, and yeah. and you police officers didn't feel the need to fire, to no fire shots nothing. at all, none, yeah. zero. But then yeah, you he, this young man, mm. is driving in his car, and you lot was quick to do in what the middle of the night. Okay. You guys pick and choose who you want to kill. That's why they should just turn this thing over yeah. and let them come out. Yeah, come out. Yeah, for real. start a fresh training or what have you or something. Because yeah. Because honestly. Yeah, wow. please, man. Yeah, they're doing the mess for no reason. My goodness me. So, um, as well, you've put here inflation. What do you think about the inflation? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't broke, I'm broke now. Do, what, what, How what's... is bread nearly two pounds? Can you just answer me? How is bread two pounds? How? Yeah. Petrol? Yeah, I used to be able to put in £20 and feel mm. nice. Now I'm putting in £60 uh, pounds and, me. and it burns it me because it lasts a day and a bit yeah, depending yeah. on where I'm going. Because I just see it go down. Like I'm driving now uh, and I just look. I'll now see. you're monitoring your yeah. petrol <laughs> Listen, I went to my man's house yesterday. My mileage said 220 <laughs> Yeah, right now it's on 98 Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on 98 Yesterday it was on 229 miles. Even that was just burning me. Now it's on 98. I haven't Do you know I'm not taking driving. nobody nowhere in my car? Do you believe me? <laughs> you ain't wants to go anywhere. I'm not taking you. I swear I'll take you. Petrol. Minimal £10 petrol. I'm yes. just going up the road. £10, 10 pound pound, petrol. But nobody wants to give you. Yeah. I don't understand what. It's because we come out of the EU. Yeah. So all of you fools that like voted mm. us out of the EU, this yeah. is on Look you. This no, is but they make you, money man. though. All the people that vote us out make money. Okay. It's, it's like, a, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, the petrol's gone down a little bit. When oh, it was please. £2 the other day, I nearly had... I drove around just to find it at one eighty or something like that, you know? Could Crazy. You imagine? No. Oh, God. You said bread is £2. But how is bread £2? I don't know, because I really buy th bread for 35p. I remember, uh, or, yeah, back or in the I'll day. See, or I'll see that it's been reduced, and then I'll check the date. Freezer. 
No one even eats bread in our house except for him. Yeah. And if he eats bread, it'll be toast. Yeah, yeah eat it. Yeah. Eat it. And I, I don't care how thin it is. If you want thick bread, then yeah. you know what? Then you add two add and two you put it in the toaster. Toast yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how thin the bread is. This is what we're going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. It's mad. It's mad. It's like you have to budget everything. You have to budget everything. everything. I used to shop in Asda. Mm. Listen, for Even Asda's, um... for me, when I used to shop in Asda, spending like ninety pound was like standard. I was like, yeah, yeah I got bare for ninety pound. <laughs> I now wow. shop in Aldi or Lidl. Yes. Well, you see what I get for sixty pound? Mm. My fridge is rap. And the thing my is, I used to be a bit rap. snobby about Lidl. So did I. I was like, that's a my French I used yeah. to be like, no, shop in Lidl. My used to be yeah. like, no, go to Lidl. Go to Lidl. What, bro? My daughter don't eat. Yeah, my daughter. How's that? My daughter don't eat stuff from there. My son don't drink. They like their drinks. She was like, what? This is like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. She's been a Lidl. And Aldi, Chantel, big up yourself. <laughs> time, because Shout I really, out to you, Chantel. Yes, <laughs> I'm telling you. Because she used to say, oh, shop there. And I used to be like, I'm not shopping hey, there, man. I'm going Asda thinking I was too nice. Yeah, but me. then one time I went into Asda and I was thinking, why is this £98? Mm. But I continued, continued. And then I realised, is it? Let me just go in Lidl and see what I can buy. Oh, they do tropical juice. He they do it. this. And it's nice. Listen, delicious. Mm. One time, I, what I did is I changed. I didn't tell my daughter I went where I shopped. Yeah. I just quickly changed everything. And put it in different packages and stuff like the bonbon biscuits. I quickly emptied it in the biscuit tin yeah. so she didn't see the packet, just to see if she'll eat it. And she was eating it. She didn't say nothing. The chocolate fingers. Mm. She was like, "This is not the proper chocolate fingers." Oh, she knew. So you know what I did? Mm. I bought the ones from Lidl. Bought then when I bought, I bought one from Poundland because at Poundland they had an offer for like two pound for like fifty percent extra. But what's going extra. on with Poundland as well? Nothing's even a Poundland. Well. Well. It's not even a pound no, anymore. No, no, no. It was, but what they do is they do extra fifty percent mm. and then add an extra pound. So for like chocolate biscuits and stuff, when they add extra fifty percent, it's it's actually worth it. Okay. Because chocolate fingers singly mm. is like two pounds thirty nine in Asda. In Lidl is two pound, but you get um, you in get. out in Poundland is two pound, but you get enough. Okay. Because okay. I I know the difference because I buy it. <laughs> so one time I thought, you know what? Let me try it. Here. I bought it. Yeah. It was finishing. Mm. I went into Lidl. I bought their version. I just took the packaging out and put it's it back it, in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And into the Cadbury's one. Yeah. I watched her eat it and she didn't even realize. I wow. said, look at this gin. <laughs> These times you're running your mouth. I don't eat that. It's nasty. It's this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she would leave it. She didn't even realize. Till this day, she don't even know. That same box is in the cupboard. You see the box that's in the cupboard? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The biscuits that's in the tray, the actual chocolate biscuits, it's from mm, Aldi. From Aldi. Aldi. And she don't even know. Gosh. Yeah, she don't even know. You have to know. pick up Aldi a little because honestly, it's a bigger yeah, lifesaver. Listen, Isn't it? I'm telling you. I can't believe how nice the things are, the juices, the bread, yes. even the bread. Yes. 55p. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, yes. that's good. I'm from two pounds. You, from two pounds. <laughs> but I do go Marks and Spencer's every now and again. Mm -hmm. You have to because you, you know, know what? You know you have to. And you know there's a different type of case yeah. in Marks and Spencer. <laughs> you know you have to dress up and go in there yeah. nicely and just walk. You can't up, just, you know? You can't just, you can't just go in there all gangster. You have to go in yeah. there neat and hello. Yeah. Hi, and all good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And all that. Picking up my sweets and they're looking at me. Yeah, my crisps. Yeah, my milk. Yeah. Have to act stitch my fruit. Some, sometimes grapes, you know, you know? proper strawberries. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just so nice. There in Waitrose. Sometimes you have to treat yeah. yourself. Ooh. Yeah, 10 pounds. And then when I look at it, they're like, 13 pounds. I'm looking up for this. You know? <laughs> you just and you have to smile and wait. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Three you. Items. Come okay, on. cool. I'm not coming here for another three months, but I'll walk through. Yeah, it's fine. It's true. <laughs> oh my goodness, me. So where are we at now? Um, so you um, so you're doing exclusive trainers, jackets, clothes. What other clothes? What type of clothes are you doing, Hakeem? Um, so obviously we anything for women. Just ask. Yeah. Yeah, like what? Well, what size? Size um, eighteen. Just saying. Listen, listen. I got discounts on that for you when you're ready. Yeah, you good. <laughs> But um, yeah, uh, the way obviously I worked it out was uh, at the beginning we went to uh, a lot of other resellers to get mm. our products and um, I ended up going to the reseller. So then at mm. some point in life, I don't know what happened, but I got a message one time from this guy and he was my reseller's plug in it. Okay. So uh, obviously we went to him and then we were buying our stock of him for cheaper. Mm. So literally now I just basically try to network with whoever I can, mm -hmm. see what they've got and basically buy it at the best prices. Nice. Um, we tend to, because uh, you know how online and in stores and stuff, they overcharge like crazy. Like yeah. you'll go into a shop um, and if the shop's not the shop of the designer brand, you'll be paying like at least £200 over. Ooh. I went to London the other day and I was shopping and inflation made it crazy as well. Because even mm. I went to London the other day and I was shopping and I um, saw some Jordan 1 mids. These, the shoes that they had in the shop are mm. worth about maybe 160, 170 at most. 
you okay. guys are selling it in the shop for 350 I'm like, bro. Oh my God. If, if you go to my time. store, if you go to my store, you're getting it cheaper than what the price of it is. So is your store online or you you can um, actually go into No, shop? so, yeah. So basically, the way we worked it is we tried to, instead of actually having a store and paying all the expenses to that, we yeah. basically wanted, because if you everything's moving online now, isn't it? Mm. People prefer to order stuff, have stuff brought to them and them kind of things like that. Everybody's oh. getting a bit lazier now, isn't it? So yeah, we just decided to make a store on basically every platform we could in order to sell our products, mm. invested in all of our products. And then... The only way we managed basically to differentiate ourselves from um, other resellers and other sneaker sellers or whatever you want to call them yeah. is um, we basically just went into different, we made, we made a brand that can basically be put into different brands in it. So we do music, we do graphic design, we do all of that kind of stuff as well. That's so um, cool, But yeah, because you need something to separate you from the rest of the market, otherwise you're yeah. just going to end up being someone in that market, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so what we tend to do is if we don't have anything in stock, um, we always have people that are looking to bring in stock. Bring so, in stock. yeah. So, so it, have you learned um, accountancy due to due to this? Because it's of, mad. Yeah, like I didn't, yeah. I didn't do it in. Uh, I, I wanted to do uh, business in college, but I just never ended up going to college because I just thought like my my actual business. Like if I do it from just real life experience, just yes. hopping now. Mm. At some point, when I would have, when I was supposed to, when I'm supposed to finish college or uni or whatever, mm. I will then be able. By that point, actually, my business should be up there anyways instead okay. of starting a business once I come out. Um, so I did study a lot of stuff at this, um, on the side. Like after I finished school, I, I studied psychology, business, accountancy, Ooh. and mm-hmm. economics. But I did it all on my own time. Yeah. And then what I tend to do. All was, of this had twenty. I'm just looking at you, just mm. thinking, wow. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I realize, wow. Yeah, Good I on think, you. Good on you. you. I'm proud of you. Honestly, <laughs> God, I am. I am. Honestly. I think with all this school stuff, um, mm. obviously kids stay in school and stuff. But I think with all this school stuff and uh, college and uni, I think it's a bit overrated. They kind of just spread out what you what you can learn literally yes. in a week over years. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. 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 yeah Yes. Like to learn econo- not, not even economics like per se, but to learn business, just general like the standards of business and like to learn most of everything that I know about business like promotional marketing. I literally went online, watched videos and mm. read books for about a year. Yeah. It took me two years to plan my business, one year to get the stock, one year to study everything. So it's like in uni, it take it, they'll make it over like five four years, years, four mm. years, four years, five years. Yeah. I, I wanted to go to uni to do that, but then I was like, what is the point? Yeah. It's good that you had that thought pattern to yeah. just do it that, like that, you yeah. know? That's, what, that's wow. what I'm saying. And then over time, it mm. just... Uh, like, like you know, when you learn something and it just becomes standard for you. Yes. Uh, uh, like over time, like obviously you so learn. Are to brush you a quick learner? Young. Can you just be given something and learn it quick? I'm a visual learner though. Yeah. If you give me a book, yeah. if you give me a book, that will probably take me like a good while to. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. That will take. That will actually take yeah. me a year or two to learn. Yeah. 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 Right. If you if, if I'm sitting here, yeah, and you show me how you did like um all of this radio stuff with like the stuff. Yeah, we'll be able to get it straight away. If like you give me about a week, I'll probably be able to do it. Yeah. Not not like to your standard, but like I'll be able to just do. To understand it, you can go to other radio stations and understand and what they're saying. Yeah. It. It's good. Like, yeah, you need, not everybody's born the same and not everybody's got yeah. that, you know, yeah. uni brain or what have you, you know. Yeah. So it's good that you've got that yeah. life skill. Mm. And I want to shout out to the other young people out there. Winners. Oh, Michael, why did you get into security? Michelle, there's a question for Michelle here. Why did you get into security? You know what? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Somebody <laughs> said, do you know what's mad? Somebody just said to me, because I talk a lot, yeah? Yeah. And I talk to everyone. If you stop me in the street, I don't know you. I'm going to just talk <laughs> yeah. to you. I might walk off my son would be like, who's that? I don't know. Like, yeah, because he's talking to me. I talk to everyone. So they were like, you talk to everyone, you seem friendly. I'm like six foot as well. So Are you? Yeah, I'm six foot. Oh so like, yes. Do you know when I hugged her, I didn't realise she was this tall. I want to. Yeah, Go so ahead. I'm, I'm like six foot. So they were like, wow. yeah, you should try doing... Um, Are you scared? Security. Nah. Because I talk to every. I'm friendly. I'm wow. tall. But I, people might say, "Are oh, you intimidating? And then I open my mouth. If you, I might mm. stand there with like a stern face. But yeah. if you're like, you're right, I'd be like, are you all right? And then you'll start talking to me, and then you'll realise, oh, you're actually quite nice. I yeah. thought you was quite scary. Why? Mm. Oh, because you've got an intimidating... Stop lying, man. It's because I'm black and I'm tall. <laughs> like, stop lying, because you know you can't say that. Yeah. So that's why I started, literally started doing security. If you mm. ask anyone that I do security with, mm. they will tell you, oh, Michelle doesn't take it um, seriously. Okay. I don't take security seriously. Have you ever had any problems? I tugged down one girl <laughs> yeah. in Hounslow, yeah, mash it up on the door. From then, I said, I'll never go to that, that club again. Yeah. Because I'm not leaving my house to fight you. Mm. That's never my intention. I'm yeah. not the police. I don't get paid to fight. They don't pay me enough. And if I get killed on the job, there's no benefits. I'm, it's just, Hakeem Rihanna, your mum died at work. Gosh. It's for security. Do you get what I'm Imagine. saying? It's not worth it. Mm. So for me, the moment I did that, I said, I'll never come back to the, this um, yes, club again. Yes. And I never, to be fair, it's in Hounslow, mm. but I never worked at that club again. Okay. Any job that I go to and I feel like people make me fight them or the security's not backing me, no mm. problem. 
I just don't go back. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how much money you're giving me. I'm not coming back here. Mm. And I, I do brand promoting, so I'm one of them people that you'll see on the street giving you bare free stuff. Oh, and where are you at? Because you sound like a free I swear to God, yeah. I even told my son, I worked four days in yeah. August. I made just under £1,400. Giving out free ice cream. Yeah. I went to Manchester. I went to Manchester twice. Yeah, I went to um, Birmingham and I went to Blue Water. Ooh. I made just under fourteen hundred pounds giving out free ice cream. Yeah. So when you people see us in the street, yeah. hi, excuse me, do you want a vape? Why have we got a new wow. vape? It's a new flavor. Or we got giving out the new flavor Coke. Yeah, we get the money. It's good. Then. It's, good mm. it's good money. It's free stuff. Yeah, you're, you're not arguing with people when they're giving yes, you free yes. stuff. It's just no thanks, and then you be on your way mm. with security. It goes the same way. I always say security is not about how big you are on the door. You might have the biggest, scariest looking guy. Mm. You could be the weakest. Yeah. But then you have the smallest, nicest person. Mm. We're the strongest yeah. because the way I address you as soon as you come to the door is different. Mm. And with me, I'll be like, good evening. Your dress looks nice or your haircuts looks nice or your outfits fly. Straight away, you don't know what you've done to that person. Mm. You could put them in a good mood. I'm not here at the club. Now nah, you can't come in. F off. Go away. Mm. Da, da, da. I'm, I don't do that. Okay. So people are skeptical when they hire me because don't think you're going to hire me and I'm going to fight at the door. It's not mm. going to run. And I'm one of them people. It, it, I will G check you at the door. Like, yeah. We G check means what, dear? Basically, I'll tell you about yourself. Even if you're my colleague, I won't embarrass you in front of everyone. Yeah. I'll bring you to one side and I'll be like, Jazzy, you see when you did that at the door? Mm. Babes, don't do that when you're with me. Okay. That's how you start trouble. That's a G check. That's yeah? a G check okay. on site. Like, I'll tell you on site. Like, like, like I said, I'm not an embarrasser. I won't shame, I won't shame you in front of people. Mm. I'll bring you to one side and be like, listen, you see what you did there? Yeah. You see that could have been somebody else? It could have gone a different way. Mm. So you see if you're going to do that, that's fine. I beg, but don't do it when I'm at the door because I ain't got time for it. I want to go home today. Okay. And yeah, so security, I still do it, but I'm yeah. very... Picky? Yeah. Are there's you? only one person I really do security for. Shout out Junior if you're listening. <laughs> He'll call my phone. Mish, yo. Right, we've got to do the news. One okay, second. cool. Oh. You know, I always do that. Always. No, 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 always talk through the news. I'm oh, sorry. is that the news? Yeah, it was the news. Sorry. Just like that, the news. But... You know, I'm sorry. I hope that answered your question. Number two. The funny thing is, Hakeem, you can't be seen. Oh, you can't no, be seen. I'm chilling, man. Hakeem, try that. Try your best to do oh, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you do it limp, long ways, Hakeem, like this. Oh, yeah. Hakeem, no, like this. Like that, innit? How do you even... No, maybe. Oh, you just literally flicked us up. Oh, what? All oh, this time. That's oh, a matter. Oh, wait, actually, wait, hold on. I can get that try, better try, balance try. then. Hold on. Aha, YouTube days. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Why did we think of that? I actually don't know, you know, that's such crazy. You know what we're like. <laughs> yeah, so Jazzy's yeah, in it. Brilliant, and you, yeah. So that's the way to do it. Look how we have to hitch it all up. Yeah, my actual thingy broke. My actual. Oh, tripod. Yeah, uh, the one it broke. As you can see, half of it's there, Lord. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, Haki. That's why so we had you. Man. <laughs> technician in my setup. You know? He's a technician. Yeah. <laughs> I always do that with the news. I always be blabbering on and then, you know. Gosh. News, guys. You know, news. Later. So, towards the end, I'm going to ask you both to answer. I've got questions of 1 to 59, the affirmations, and I want you to give me what it means to you when I when you choose a number, yeah? Cool, cool. Okay. Is it just like one word or just general? Um, say, so, if I give you a sentence of... I ain't giving you yet. Okay. You wait oh, and go, see. Go, 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 I'm not too Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever it comes to your head, what does that mean to you? That's okay. all. You know. Okay, cool. yeah. yeah. They're positive ones. There's nothing rude or nothing like that. It's positive. Mm -mm, I have even shouted out the um, radio station. Lord. Oh God. Look how sexy he is. You see. Oh God. <laughs> she said, Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, definitely the 80s, baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But the thing is, I used to be really prejudiced against locks men. I used to hate it. Yeah. Now you got it. I know I've got it. I used to be like that. Oh, you say my smell. I was like that really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that look. Oh gosh. And the same with African men. I used to be like, I don't know African men or what's now. I'm with an African, African man. African man with yes, dreads. Yeah, no, no, we ain't got dreads. No. Could you imagine if you had dreads? One day you just said, I'm going to do dreads. I'm going to dread up. Oh Lord. It's just so funny how life is. Mm -mm. Oh. 
So you do two hours every Tuesday? Every Tuesday, yeah. So if you've got anyone else that can come down, please send them this way. No, it's good. Daughter. Because everyone everyone listens and it's a community. And I want a lot more like, guys and yeah. women to, you know, come start in, for yeah. something, you know? Because you, look, a question was, why did you get into security? Yeah. I have never had a security woman on. Yeah. So it's good, okay. you know? Yeah. So someone will be listening. The other day, someone um, sent me a message from Uganda. Thank you, sister, for this lovely message. And da da da. I was like, wow, you're listening from Uganda. Seriously? Yeah. I was really chuffed. I was like, oh, okay. That's good. And it goes far. So, how does this, how does it get out there? I don't know that technical bit. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, I just told you. Well, no, no. Yes, countries. just 154 countries, and then 54. it comes through normally on the listeners on the um the thing there yeah. and then you know and then he would tell me that oh jesse such and such was listening that's when i know i don't know that yeah, yeah 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 i hear yeah, that's so much pressure i don't know them things <laughs> and i can't even fake it i just don't know yeah i hear that how are you today great time to eat the news overtook the, the conversation was just too juicy that the news just overtook i tell you is there anything else you want to add, Hakeem? So uh, you've, you've you've called out your um your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, say your website. Go oh website, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool, can... cool, 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 cool. And is it affordable? Tell it, depends me on, it depends on who you're asking, isn't it? Because <laughs> I, I, I tell you, like, most guys my age, like males specifically as yeah. well, they, they, I mean, they are, but like, when, when the prices come, mm. they, they have a heart attack, innit? Oh, is it? It's, oh, be, gosh. Yeah, it's usually the females who get, like, most of the deals because, like, right. when you're buying smaller clothes, smaller shoes, whatever, you get it for way cheaper. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, I think, I think it's affordable for females. For females? Yeah. Or for the guys? Yeah, nah. Because oh, right. cool. the thing is as well, because I pay a lot of money for my, my own personal shoes and my own personal clothes, yeah. Yes. It's like, as soon as I'm, I'm there's another guy who wants it, I'm charging them more. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay, cool. Make sure I get this one. Great. Welcome back to the Goddess Jazzy Show. That was the news. I hope you're still you're still with us today. And we're here still with Michelle and Hakim. And again, I was having a juicy conversation that made me go over. So please forgive me. Anyway, we're back here in the room. So I was just asking Hakim about his prices. So his prices are very affordable for the women, but for the men, a little bit much more. Inflation's so. a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation's a real thing, you know. <laughs> Um, Can you give it, us an example of how much? Okay, so you you got clothes. What type of clothes? Is it jackets? What type uh, of jackets? Track, literally, like, my, my whole thing is what's, what's the point of the eight source by K in it? So literally anything you want. Okay. Just send me a picture, and I tell you, I oh, probably know someone who has it. It's like it? that. Okay. Um, yeah, because we we do have stock that people can just buy it, mm. but majority of people do because I'm not really like, I'm good at judging what we should buy for stock. Yeah. But majority of people will tend to just, oh, I don't really want anything you've got, but do you have this because I want that? I'll be like, yeah, yeah come. Oh, right, yeah, right, so, right. Okay, what's the website? Uh, kwo.com, for those that don't know. Mm -hmm. um, what's the point if it's not sourced by K because we get everything? Um, yeah, but spell it because when yeah. I type in oh, K, you yeah. just yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So uh, you spell it K double A double Y and then just world like the planet. K world. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. So that question that um, Michelle answered, I hope she answered that well for you about why she became a um, security guard and she won't be taking no rubbish. So be careful wherever <laughs> you are. Especially if you're in Houdslow. Anyway. <laughs> no, in it. No, for real. No. Please, don't come and distress my life. So you don't want to continue with it no more? or you I just... do it. Like, mm. I'm going to do it over Christmas because it's quick money. Yeah. But it's not my... What's your big time plan? Um, you just want to be famous, don't you? Tell do you know what? I, I don't even want to be famous, you <laughs> no? know? I want to be... What's the word? Say it with your chest, like a feeling. Yeah, feel because it. I don't want to be famous. I want to do something where I can make money. Like, you know, you get these influence. I don't even want to be an influencer okay. because I don't want to be the cause of, oh, I'm following Michelle and oh. what you're doing is not right. My kids follow me. Yeah. My granddaughter can follow me. So if I'm doing something wrong, well, I followed Thank my you. mom. Yeah. But I don't want no one to be messaging me. My daughter follows you and you're teaching her. Da, da, da. I'm, I'm not your mom. Okay. So do you understand? I don't want to be an influencer, but mm. I think if is influencer the right word? Yeah, that is influence. So that is where they. But I don't want that word, though, man. Oh, oh, what, I don't want. Wanna be, I wanna oh, be you want to be a, um, something like an influencer, but no, I don't want, want that no, no, title. No, 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 no. You yeah. want to be a TV personality. That's what you want to oh, be. You see it there? Okay. You want to be a TV personality, personality okay. without the influence. So you, would yeah. you like your own show? Yeah, I'll be sick. Be if, I have, if I have, if I have my own, I'm not gonna lie, you know, because if I had story time, 
Yeah. My, if, if I if I could be bothered to download YouTube and yeah. do the whole YouTube thing, I mm. swear to God, I'll be known for my story times. Because yeah. my right. stuff that happened to me regular, people be like, Michelle, you're lying. No, I'm. Not, I can't make it up. It's mm. not stuff that is. Maybe made. you should start doing it then. Yeah, but you know I'd how be much... bothered. I know. You can't be bothered. You are people, easy. You want yeah, just, just today. Let, let me just let me record and then somebody edits yeah. and someone yeah. uploads yeah. it yeah. and then yeah. someone yeah. checks and be like, Michelle, yeah, you got this many views. Okay. Yeah. And I want to go to the blue carpet, red carpet, green carpet. Bring my kids. Someone just say. Michelle, you see your son, yeah, we want to take him in the Mercedes, <clears throat> Mercedes head, <laughs> advert, yeah. da, 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 and then go from there. Yes. And then that way, you're putting him in it, mm. I can just be in you the background. You just be in the background, you know? And just That's collect the, the money. Yeah. <laughs> and then my granddaughter's there, because I'm not going to lie, some people will say that their kids are cute. I, but listen. Yeah. My granddaughter is Chris. Is she? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. She, there's kids out there, like there's some celebrities out there, because mm. they're known. Everyone's like, oh, their daughter's so cute, or their son. You're, no, they're not. I'm, I'm not even lying. They're not. They're not. They're not. If you see my granddaughter, she's. I'm telling you, she's crit. Yeah. Oh. Ja nah, yeah, 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 yeah. And this has got. There, there's no filter. Yeah. It's not like you know. You guys. Like yeah. She's just <laughs> nice. Yeah. And the thing is, even if she took pictures, smiling and no smiling. Oh my God! Look at you. And that's even, so many people you can't see her. No, yeah, Chris, <laughs> she's a modelling so, agency. I'm not even have you, joking. Have you set her up with modelling? I've done it, but what they did is mm. one of them tried to finesse me. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finesse meaning what, dear? Basically, they robbed me for the money. So they oh, told God. me she was going to a modelling shoot. So we went and then they took bare pictures of her. Not going to lie, the, the pictures were nice. Yeah. And then said, oh, yeah, you got to pay £150. Sis, that's not what you said when I was talking to you. Mm. So I'm here on the Jazzy Show. Listen, yes. I need an agent. Yes. Follow my Instagram, female mm. underscore. Mm. Security That's what she's like firstborn, dude. That's it. Like, Look she, at her. And she chunky as yeah, well. Yeah, she love was it. nice. <laughs> she had rolls chunky for days. Baby, I love and it. now she's just skinny and just Where's flexible. her mum from? What is her mum? Is her mum mixed? Mixed race. Oh, okay. No, but her mum's mostly black because... She's her mum's Irish. Oh, we got a lot of dirty on there. Look at her looking. I'm nosy, innit? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But no, her mum is mixed race. Irish. So, yeah, well. but her mum is more black because oh. her mum's yeah, yeah, mum is mixed race and the dad's black. Oh, okay. Back in the day, they used to call it... And I'm not being rude to anyone. I think it was called quarter cast. Yeah, 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 quarter yeah. cast. Yeah. So, mm. but I think she's more. I say that his baby mum's more black, black than, than she is white because her mum is mixed race mm. and her dad is full black. Mm. Wow. So she's got more like black. This. Yeah. And my granddaughter's the same. He's full black okay. and the baby mum is mixed race. Mixed but she, race. I say she's more black yeah. than she is white because okay. she's got more black in her DNA than she has then white. But well. whatever, whatever you want to call her. So, but, mum wants to be a TV person. Like, you want your own show. Oh, so what show. type of show would it be? I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Something where I can talk. Don't send me your problems because your problems. <laughs> so you don't want to do more... problems. <laughs> no, I can't be. A... The thing is, I, it's bad. But I probably make banter out of the problems and just oh, be God. like. But I keep it a hundred. Yeah. So if you tell me your problems, you might not like. Yeah, what I have to say, yeah. So mm. you can send me your problems, and I can be like, listen, if that was me, I'm not having it. Da, da, da. This is so what if, I think so you if do. let's say Sky's um, listening now, yeah, and you said, you know, I want to be TV personality. What kind of show is it you want? What do you want? If they, they say, right, Michelle, what show do you want? What do you want to bring to the table? So, uh, something for the youths. Oh, something for the youths. Yes. Yeah. Even if it's like what Crept and Conan's do. What's their show called? The Right Game. The Right oh, Game. Yes, I don't know so nothing about music yeah. because because uh, I don't. But something where you give the kids challenges and they mm. win something at the end. For example, you give and them a year. And ordinary children. Like, yeah, that people from well. the streets. Yeah. People from the hood. Pe like... I want people from north, south, east, west, mm. like deep depths of Brixton, yeah, yeah. deep depths of Hackney. I don't want, don't come to me with you, my family. They've got money, no yeah, move, man. No. I don't, I don't want you. You, you take drugs. That's some, that's a choice. Go yes. away. Like you want the real. I want the real. Mm. Like they're struggling. You know, mm. they can't. Their mums can't afford. Now, now the inflation's gone up. My mum can't really afford to buy them Air Force Ones. Where mm. me, I'll just Hakimi Nindi trainers. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. mum, they're 130 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get them. Mm. Like literally, some mums can't do can't that. Do it now. Just about afford the gas and the electric and stuff like that and my partner he's good he makes money so if yeah. i can't afford it babe i love <laughs> you i love you <laughs> can i have some money please thank you i came let's go rihanna let's go like babe i want to go on holiday i'm stressed all right oh. can i have some money i love you oh. and he'll like he'll give it there's no yeah there's not many if people that, maybe. yeah it's nice. just literally like where are you going yeah i'm going here while you stressed out yeah i'm stressed man <laughs> Please, I love you. 
Do you get on with him? Yeah, yeah. oh, Hakeem does, yeah. Yeah, that's my guy, you know. Yeah, mad. that's nice, isn't it? Because yeah, it's important man. for the children to yeah, yeah, like yeah. a partner, you know? So yeah. it's nice. I mean, when I told, like, every, everything I've told him, like, he was even one of the first people to invest in my business as well, like, among yeah. my friends as well, yeah? And, like, even with music, Crazy. like, he's put me on, like, he, he knows, I guess, they're famous, you know? Yeah, famous yeah, people. Yeah, like, he knows, he knows obviously people. famous people, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's obviously, cool. he'll be like, hey, um, I go message this and this person, and if I don't, it's mm. like, I one day I open my DM, yeah, there's someone who's verified. Oh yeah, I got your number from so and so. He nice. told me to message you. We need to go studio, bro. I'm like, yeah, I can't say nothing. Let's go. That's nice. Like, um, but yeah, like he did take. And he, when I was younger, he did take me to like a couple re- record label buildings as well. Mm. So like, he's a cool guy, and like, no, that's no cool. arguments over these sides, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's that's such a blessing. So Hakeem, I asked you earlier on, are you gonna rap one of these songs? Oh, damn. Yes. No, you have to. You oh, must. Yes. You must. You must. You must. Well, like acapella. Anything, yeah, acapella. acapella, whatever. Uh, no swearing. Right, yeah, no swearing. Um, I can please. No cussing. Right, right, no yeah, that's cussing. fine. That's fine. I'll do no like. No racism. No I'll nothing. I'll do like. Yes. I'll do like a verse. I'll okay. do. I'll do a verse of acapella in it because this is the only song that has that only verse that I have swearing in it. Okay. It? Um, what should I just start? Yeah, yes, on. man. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, wait a minute, Hakim. Let me just um do this. Right, you can contact us on Love the Beat Radio on Facebook. On Twitter at Love the Beat Radio and on Instagram at Love the Beat Radio. You can call, text, and WhatsApp on 07 308 895 668. Now show some love for Hakeem, who's going to oh, do damn. his rapping scene. Ah, Take it cool. away, Hakeem. Ah, cool. I'm going I'm to try to censor the swearing, but I'm not I'm going to censor yes, the swearing. Yes, you're going to have to okay, censor cool, that cool, part. Cool. Alright, cool. <clears throat> what? Uh, Alright, cool. She was a sweet one. Remix things, now I'm turning the. No, nah, I, can't, I can't do it because I've like, tried not to swear in it, is it? No, don't okay. swear. Do one without. Do one money. without a swearing in it. You must have. Ah, cool, cool, cool. I'll do a verse, yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, cool, boom. She was a sweet one. A remix things now I'm turning the heat on, heat up when I'm turning the beat on. I bless the ground that she's putting her feet on. Like I really could change your life, but you caught me pre in you twice. I'm trying to miss them eyes, but she's looking deep in my eyes. Like damn, this really wasn't the plan. She came here with her man, but she's leaving here with her man. Like. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Back, back, yeah. back, 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 back. Hakeem, what does pre mean? Please, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like, obviously you go to a party or something, innit? You, just, you see a girl. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you know so I mean? back in the day we'd call yeah. it like, I never put something like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You know, auntie's a little old, so you have to, you know, excuse me. With I that. love that. Brilliant. Yeah, I never get yeah, it. It actually means that. I, hate, I hate being on the spot in it because I get, no, I get very nervous. Because yeah, what if your producer come here? You've got to be like that. You have to just go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Well done, yes. young man. Thank well, you. Well, I appreciate it. Where does it tune out, please? Because um, I'd like to buy that CD. Yeah, it's got, not a CD or what? Um, it's not old fashioned. I don't know. Download. You have to download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got line now on it. Um, but yeah, we've got a shoot in December and then my next release is January because I yeah. don't know how to release music apparently. Okay. When, yeah, because like, I dropped my... I dropped so where's your shoot going to be? Where's, where's, are you going to have a launch party or anything like um, that? A launch, a launch? Nah, well, no? for, for videos, we do we do behind the scenes parties, I guess. Like, But we don't Ooh. do... Uh, we do launch parties for like uh, brands and like, when we do adverts and stuff. Okay. Um, but like with music, I'm not really good at releasing music. I released one song and that was like... January 2021 or February 2021. Yeah, so and that's out then, in the ether now. Yeah, that song. yeah. Okay, when we finish, I'll get that hotel. <laughs> but so yeah, um, um, since then, it. like everybody's just been messaging me, why are you releasing music? But I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to studio, make music, and then release bare previews. Okay. So yeah, like all I do is just release previews, and then people are like, we don't want to see previews though. Mm. Like, it's gonna, like for the last year, all I've been doing is dropping previews, but it's because I haven't got the video done. Oh. So people keep on saying to me, bro, we don't care. About- Does it take a long time for the video to? put together it, it does when you're not signed in it um like oh. with artists nowadays literally uh, their label pay for it but what it mm. is is just a big loan like when you see an Jesus. artist get signed and they're getting like one million up front or this person got signed for two three million mm. they that money that they get people think they just get paid that because their music is good no you that money you get paid you have to pay it back you have to pay it back yeah so that's interesting to so, know yeah. a lot of i think a lot of young people don't, don't know, know that and they, they say yeah. yeah yeah i want to get signed to atlantic or something or sony or something and then mm. when you get signed you realize they because what they do is they'll take it from a percentage of what you make mm. so when you make your music they'll take money from your streams your shows all of that stuff so it's like a continuous take yeah and oh obviously i'm independent and i have I think I've had like maybe two or three deals in like within my lifetime. Mm. Um, and I didn't take any of those deals because being an independent artist means if I do have that one song that just goes crazy, yeah. then I'll be able to keep all my, my money from it. And that's mm. what I would advise to everybody else yeah. who does music. Like, Thank you so much for yeah. explaining that because they, I think yeah. a lot of young people don't it's, know. It's just a load like at that. the end of the day, isn't it? So wow. that's why people get trapped in it because let's say mm. I've got, they give me two million up front and my, my, the, song, the next song that I make only does £30,000. 
How am I going to pay back 1.7? Yeah. How am I going to pay back 1.7 million? I can't. But all, all I'm going to have to do is keep on making music, mm. and that's why rappers. You hear rappers saying all the time. I don't want to be with this label. I don't yeah, want to make music right. anymore. Okay, it's no, because it's all alone. Like people think you just get paid two million. Nah. So with me, the reason it takes long to produce videos is mm. because my my music videos at the low end in terms of budget is about three to four thousand. Like for the video that I just released, which was last year, that mm. cost I think six k in total. Um, obviously, there's a lot of setbacks as well, mm. and like everybody being available on the day. Yeah. So, yeah. To shoot the next video that I'm shooting, we've tried to lower the budget, but even at the low end, that's about three k. Still. And if I've got a business that I need to invest in on other people that I need to manage as well, it's not feasible. Sure, I can't believe I'm speaking to a twenty year old mm. like this. You know, <laughs> honest to God, Listen. honestly, I'm really, I swear to you, and from my heart, I'm really proud of you because Thank these you. twenty year olds are not doing half of what you're doing. Mm. You understand? So I appreciate that. Honestly, it's much. really, really good. You're a great example, and I know you've touched somebody today, without a doubt. Hopefully, innit? Yeah, like, you I have. Just want, and I you've think, explained as well, because yeah. I never knew what you've just said about that loan thing, you know? I'm always thinking, why is this person wanting to drop yeah, out of their yeah, label yeah. or whatever? Because they've got money. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. the thing is, they'll get paid up front, and when you first get paid, mm. it's like, raw, like, I just got. Because like, even, even like, when I was younger, mm. I saw some deals that were even like a thousand, two thousand pounds, whatever. Mm. And then when you see the deals that were like, that were like even, I, I've, I've had one deal that's over 10,000, right? Mm. And I remember when I got that deal, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah 10 bags, that's easy, yeah? Yeah. And that was when I was 17. I'm 20 wow. now. I mean, I think I made my first. 10k when I was 17 so yeah, I'm 20 now yeah so now I look back at it I'm like bro that deal was dead like because mm. if I got signed back then I would be sitting there like why did I get signed for 10k mm. and I'd have taken money from basically all of my music but I would have had but the plus side is that of that is that it's because they pay for the music videos and stuff, stuff mm. as well mm. so this 4k that I spent on my video if I was signed yeah. they would pay for that but then the thing is everything they pay for they add it on top as well yeah oh my God. that's what I'm saying so that's why ending. someone for example like uh, Tion Wayne he mm -hmm. probably he will probably never be in debt in music because is he independent or is I don't he think he's I think, okay. oh I don't know if he's independent now mm. Central C is isn't it yeah Central, okay Central better, better example yeah so Central, Central C, C yes he's, let's say Central C was part of the label if Central C was part of the label he could so that like, he would he wouldn't be broke. Like, Ooh. the reason I say this is because Central C makes so much money from his streams alone, right? Like, we're and not talking about his shows. Yeah. Okay. We're not talking about his shows, his brand deals, his endorsements, all the sponsorships, all of that. Just from his his shows alone, mm. I mean, his streams alone, sorry, he makes enough, he made 100 million, for, he got 100 million streams on one track. That's 10 million pounds. If he got signed for a million, he's already passed. Mm. He's finished. Yeah. He's yeah. giving them the one million. He's, he's clear. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So that's the issue. Like, oh, if you're an artist, you ain't getting millions and millions and millions of streams per song. Mm then you ain't going to be able to pay back that the money that they offer you depending on how much it is. Gosh. That's what I'm saying. I'm and then they can drop you, isn't it? If you're not paying, yeah. they can drop you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And mm. obviously, I'm, only, I'm an artist of like, the most streams I've got is 15k streams, right? Mm. So 15k, in my opinion, isn't actually a lot. I mean, 15,000 people in a room, though, mad. But um, like, as an artist, rapper, whatever, mm. for streams, it's not a lot, yeah? So if I was to get signed, I would get signed, but I don't, I don't get enough streams to be able to pay back. Like, I only make like... God. Realistically, a year from music, I make like 100, 200 pounds, yeah, 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 at most, and that, that's on that's on that's like if my if I get good good streams. Mm -hmm. So with the music thing, there's no like the reason I haven't done a video in so long is because what's the point in me putting three four thousand in a video? Mm. Well, first of all, I'm not signed. Second of all, my music don't make money, mm. and it but God, you're clever, isn't yeah. Just but all it does, mm. all it does is provide the audience though. Yeah, so yeah. people view my music. They're like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna go follow him on Instagram. They go follow me, follow my Instagram. They will see, mm. ah, cool. He's got followers. Uh, what's this in his bio? Click the bio and it's my brand. Okay. That's why I have to do still release gigs? music. I've done one. Uh, I've done one. Oh, no, I've done like maybe one. I'm going to say between one and three. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't really do shows like that though. Okay. Yeah. Is it because you don't want to or? Uh, no, I'll, I'll definitely love to do shows. Um, I don't really get booked often, innit? Because obviously mm. my, the song that I released, yeah, is a song that I wrote for like a girl when I was like 15. 15. Yeah, the song, I don't like the song that I got out at the moment, but it was the only song I had because I never went to the studio when I was younger. Okay. And like, Is this I'll, your first love? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then obviously... Did you have heartbreak? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> tell us about your heartbreak. Go on. It was a little bit deep, it? Um, <laughs> Obviously, it was school times, didn't it? So obviously, um, when we broke up or whatever, I was a bit upset about it. And these times... Okay, the, the matter is... How much is a bit? I was, Let I, was me hear from the I, I can't lie, I, did, I was not really good at getting girls before I turned like 14, 15. I, yeah. Like, girls did not like me, yeah. Even yeah. even after that, girls didn't like me. <laughs> I didn't get girls until I was like maybe 17, yeah. Yeah. So it was very difficult for me, innit? Like, having a girlfriend and then she just break up with me, innit? So was it her fault? No, it was actually my baby. It ended up being my baby mother. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, so I, I, I wanted that. the end. It's yeah, okay, yeah. I wanted the end, but like, just oh, in, nice at the time, at the time it was long, innit? Um, <laughs> 
So obviously, I was going through all this heartbreak, yeah, yeah. not knowing that I was going to have a child with her. But anyway, um, I was going through all this heartbreak, and I remember this rap that is in the song. So I remixed a rap that I wrote for her on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, like the year before, mm. I wrote her this rap, and it was so it was so dead, but it was so funny, yeah. <laughs> And I must have rapped it to her in person. She cringed so much, yeah. Like, why, why are you rapping this? Song, yeah? oh. So I was like, ah, cool, yeah. And then, at least you had the initiative to yeah. do something like that at that oh, age. Oh no, oh, the, the year passed. We broke up, yeah. Yeah. And this, I, I must have been like fifteen when we first broke up, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I remember that I dropped this song as an audio a long time ago. Like anybody who tells you my first song dropped years ago, yeah. Mm. So I made the song, and then she was so annoyed. Uh, she was vexed because um. Obviously, she realised, bro, you, you did you just rap, you just remixed a rap that you did for me on Valentine's Day and put it into a song about you being heartbroken. Man. And I was like, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Like, I don't know, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, it just, it, it happens, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, since then, like, I, obviously, I, I enjoyed making music for fun and stuff. And then people told me I should start taking it seriously. So then I kind of worked on, like, being better with English. Okay. Um, because when you get better at describing stuff, and because I talk fast as well, I have the voice of rapping, I guess. Mm-hmm. So if you get better at describing stuff and you can do it in a fast way on beat, mm-hmm. you're good. So okay. I guess, like, I think now it's just keep going, trying to move forward. And then if it comes, it comes in it. If it don't, it don't. I'm a business owner other way. So yeah. when people ask me what I do, I just, yeah, I own a business. Good you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, that's good what I wanted it. So. Good on you. I hope who's, who, all who's listening, this young man is something else. I'll tell you that for nothing. He's got his mum here, but he's got our dreams. <laughs> I'll tell you that for nothing. Anyway. I tell you for free, most people just need to follow their dreams for real. Yeah, yeah that's, your, that, that's you what you would what say you to someone, someone yeah, a young person, yeah? You, say it again so they can hear at the back. Listen, people, them, just follow your dreams, innit? Like, all of these guys, all of these girls who want to be models and mm. influencers just because these other girls are doing it, all of these guys that want to be gangsters because these other guys are doing it. Yes. Literally, Cool, if you want to do that, then do that, innit? But realistically, I think everybody, if you follow your dreams, yeah, and follow what you want to do, make a plan and mm. actually plan it out, it's, it's easy. It's easy, Because yeah. I'm telling you, learning stuff, learning stuff is easy if you know how, if you know if you're a book learner or a visual learner. Mm. And Important. on top of that, um, if you have the drive to continue, continue, even when you take L's, you'll succeed at some point. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be real, look how many people, ah, oh, I made this song, I made that song, never got no views. Yeah. But now they're the biggest rapper, boxers, look how many times they lost, biggest mm. boxer in the world. So it happens, innit? And it just takes that one thing as well. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much for that, Haki. It's all good. So, now, it's question time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have. And none of you, don't try and peep the show. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Right? Gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I have one to 59 um, affirmations. Mm-hmm. So, firstly, I want you to choose five. Slowly but surely. What's your first number? Mm, 28. 11. 28. Wait a minute, Haki. Will you hold on to your 11 in a minute? Hold ah, cool, on. Cool, cool. 28. I was going to say 11. Right, 28 is this. Every day I focus on what I can do to help others. Tell me a time and a moment that you felt that. Say that again. <laughs> every, that I... every day yeah. I focus on what I can do to help others. So you tell me a time and a day that you felt like you done that. Did you help the homeless? Did you help someone? No, I helped my house. Okay. <laughs> I woke up and I cleaned and I cooked for my youth. Yeah, I do it every day. But yeah, no, but I help people in general because of yes. like where I work as well, isn't it? The security and the teaching assistant mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So to be fair, I help people near enough every day without waking up thinking I'm mm. going to help somebody. So just naturally. It just happens yeah? naturally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Hakeem, Hi. your number. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah. This is so you. <laughs> I offer guidance to myself and those close to me. Tell me a time <laughs> <and moment. laughs> that you got it. It's literally everything I just said just now. Yeah, yeah is I would say I say it's my friends twenty four seven because yeah. me and my friends just talk about wanting to be rich or whatever, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So we will talk like twenty four seven and like when we have issues, we man them just turn to each other. Look, yeah, that's cool. as long as we help each other, we're good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, really yeah. good. Okay, Miss Michelle, twenty four. Twenty four. You like the twenties, didn't you? I listen to what my heart tells me. Tell me about that. They talk about your boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I was say, my boyfriend loves me. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank but you. he's good because yeah. we've got a day. Yesterday, he was, no, not yesterday, about two days ago, he was like, right, mm. what are you doing on this particular days? And I was nice. like, nothing. I don't really do nothing on them days. He was like, right, cool. That's our days. Ooh. Lovely. I'm going to spend nice. your money. <laughs> All right. Lovely. I love you. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. So, okay. That's your answer. Hakeem, uh, the next number, please. Nine. Number nine. Hmm. My inner <laughs> wisdom shows me the path of enlightenment. Explain. Right, I tell you, I have to give you the big hey, words so you can speak it? about it. You know it. what? Yeah, it's so yes. weird that I'm picking all of these like these weird ones. <laughs> um, I think 
Yeah, I mean, I guess like, because me myself, obviously, mm. yeah, everybody has personal battles, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, I've had personal battles where like, I feel like if I'm not going anywhere, I'm not moving. Or for example, my daughter, like, mm. obviously, I think everybody has this as a parent as well. You feel like you're not doing enough. Yeah. Even even when you're trying your hardest, you might look like, look at your child be like, or look at the situation you're in personally and be like, mm. you're not doing enough, innit? But don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what, where the wisdom comes in. And not, yes. obviously, in it. So you don't, you, you can't let yourself be down. So then at some point, you will sit there, think to yourself, realize what you need to do and what you need to do to change. And that not yeah. everything will remain the same mm. as long as you change it, innit? So mm. yeah. nice that's where answer. the wisdom comes from, innit? Nice yeah. answer, Hakeem. Uh, Mummy Michelle, go um, ahead. I'm 17. 17. I am strong, yep. wise, and open to learning. Yep. When and how does this happen to you? Maybe um, in the past, I got, maybe No, the yesterday. teaching assistant job because yeah. it's for kids <laughs> with mm, what's the special, word? Is it special needs. needs. Let's say special okay. needs. Okay. And I don't know anybody with special needs. Yeah. I don't have no friends. I don't have no nobody. To be fair, I've got mm. one friend whose daughter's got special needs, but you wouldn't know it. Okay. You know she's a little bit slower than her siblings yes. but she's mad intelligent yes. so when you're having a conversation is with she her autistic? yes yeah so mm -hmm. when you're having a conversation with her you don't really think anything she, but you she, when you're talking to her she, you can see that she's thinking about the yes. answer before she answers it mm -hmm. but not gonna lie i'd rather have a conversation with her than the others because wow. they jump up and down i'm like move man sit down yeah. and then i'll be what like what age are they that you katie i believe is nine no she's gonna be going to secondary school soon oh, so i'm so gonna say she's about 11. big kids are yeah 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 okay so scored. what the ones that i yeah, deal with oh age? they're year nine so i, I think they're like yeah. 16. 16. yeah oh, between 14 and 16. okay so, so older yeah so older with children. that that's that's a challenge in itself mm. because I've never, like I said, I don't know anybody with any yeah. autistic kids really other than my friend, but you wouldn't know she's got it mm. unless she, my friend tells you she's, she's got this, it. this and this. But when you yeah. speak to her, you can see that she's thinking. Mm. She's just a little bit slower, but all she'll say to you, I don't understand the question. And mm. then I'll be like, what do you mean you don't understand? Then I'll say it again. She'll be like, I don't know. Then I'll call her siblings and then yeah. I'll ask them and they give me an answer. Then my friend will say, no, remember, autistic, da, da, da. But yeah. now I know. I knew it from when she was little anyway, but yeah. I'm saying those that don't know. A different way. Yeah. yeah, so when mm -hmm. I ask her something, I'll say, no, I mean this. And she'll be like, oh, okay. Da, 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 da. Explain yeah. it in layman terms, like as plain and as mm. blunt as possible. And then she understands, she understands you. It. So that's how it is with the kids that I work with as well. Nice one. Mm. Hakeem, your next number, please. Yeah. Uh, 23. You're going in the 20s, like your mum, fabulous. Yeah. My past has no bearing on my present or future. Oh, damn. I know. Think about it and give me a great answer. Go on. Um, I mean, obviously, I went through a lot of issues, innit? Um, obviously, having certain friends that are like involved in whatever. Mm. Um, when I was younger, obviously, like, you can't just change your friend group, innit? Like, yeah. As much as you don't but want you to be there. you never drew yourself to be like them. Nah, I mm. just like, I just, me personally, I just prefer to be around them, didn't it? Because I, I, you know, one thing about me is, regardless of what you think of my opinions, my choices, I'm still going to do what I want to do, innit? Mm -hmm. okay. And them, like these people, I grew up with them, innit? So, mm. of course, I'm not just going to abandon them, innit? Um, yeah. So, I would say, like. Heart, you have Yeah. <laughs> you have, you have. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, so obviously, um, I think a lot of people that I do business with now, mm. um, like, I, I feel like they might they might look at the people apart from obviously Abdullah who he, he's a very smart like smart looking guy whatever yes. I think the people that I'm associated with I don't think people that I do business with now don't like that in it and I feel like obviously that's part of my past as well mm. and then I also feel like like with my child like when she like when I when she was seventeen um, mm. no when she, when I was seventeen yes. when I was seventeen and she was first born. It was like it, I would, were you scared? Yes, that's this yeah, is my thing. Yeah. yeah, in the back of my mind, yeah. I didn't know if I really wanted a child or not child or not because I just mm. didn't understand it in it. And um, when I say like like like, so it went, it's not gonna affect my future now because like now I know that I want to be the best dad there, isn't it? Yeah. Like I want to like when, purpose yeah, more, like when yeah. my daughter's eighteen, I want to be like da 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 da. So that like, that's another thing as well that I want to find my future ever because mm. even though I chill with road men, yeah. um, I'm not a road man myself. I'm mm -hmm. a bit, I want to be a business owner in it. Even though I was confused about having a child when I first had a child, I now know that I want a child, innit? Like, yeah. So I know that my goal is to work to be the best dad, innit? So the stuff from my past or the way I thought in the past doesn't matter now or in the future because I know what I want, innit? Okay. Yeah, so I think as long as you know what you want, you're good. Nice answer. Miss Michelle, your mm. last number. Number two. Number two. Mm. I am safe and all is well. 
is it? Yeah, my love life is great. My kids love. <laughs> my love life is just great. She right into that, you know. <laughs> yeah. It is great, fantastic, yeah. amazing. Yeah. We picked them good. My daughter's traveling. You know, she's, yeah. she's, she's doing her best life with her auntie. Oh, that's true. Cool. Yeah. Has she gone to anywhere nice? To be fair, well, mm. France, because she's okay. been France. Well, she's been on holiday four times this year. Yeah. This girl don't even God, work. I'm jealous. No, 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 no. She don't even. She don't even work. Like, how are you going on holiday? <laughs> I'm paying, yeah. then you're finessing your brother for money, then you go to your dad <laughs> and you're finessing your auntie on your dad's side and then you're finessing your dad. No, but you don't work and you're big 18. You're chopping there, you see? No, literally, yeah. <laughs> and then when you ask her, how are you doing this? She says, I manifest it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. She actually, she actually <laughs> walked past you, she said, I've, I've been manifesting it. You're like, really? Shut up, man. <laughs> Quick, no, you know this, you're talking about going on holiday for time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. long, yeah, and then just go. She's gone. Yeah, she's been saying, I'm going to my bay, I'm going my You ain't got money for my bay. I ain't got money for my bay. But when it came to Pete, my she No, 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 but she really, she really went to Marbella, did up did up five star celebrity no i swear to god like she did yeah. lifestyle but you don't work then when you ask her i manifest it no you finessed your mum for money i i paid for that money because she's jarring she will go on i think and then what she does is she'll send me uh, messages on instagram and snapchat and whatsapp yeah. mate i'm at work okay cool so do you want to go here i feel like we should go on this holiday i don't want to go yeah but i want to go rihanna you're not going you ain't got the money you don't work okay she goes on and on and on till you do it and yeah. Start, yeah and i do it because sh you're jarring go away shush shush like she's been mexico well we all what? went mexico i went greek i went mex we all went mexico mm. then i went greece then i went italy twice because it was 11 pound and 17 pounds i'm going like, 11 pound 11 pound how for the day Oh, they did. Listen, no disrespect to Italians. Big up your thing. Your pasta's the best. Your ice cream slap. But it's not mm. a country I want to go to and spend a week. They don't yeah. like black people. So Milan. It's true what I've heard. Yeah, okay. Milan. I said to my son, you mm. can go there. For me, I didn't feel not one bit of racism. Mm. Not one. Venice, though. Listen, I had to cuss some people there. Yeah. Even if you didn't understand what I'm saying, you understood what the hell I was saying. Mm. No, no, no. You, Gosh, you know, racist people, even in another country, you can tell even me. if they don't under, even if they don't understand what you're saying. You see, when you're cussing them, yeah. they know you're they know cussing them. Yeah, These course. Italians knew I was gunning them. That's why I said, Taikim, you ain't going Venice. You'll go, you'll go oh. Venice and go jail. Yeah. yeah, they make it obvious. Oh my They're God. rude. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm only here to eat your lost pizza. So at this point, you're not chasing me out of your country. I soon leave. <laughs> like, I How come are you to going do... there for a day for £11? Because you, I find it online. Literally, if you can go anywhere, like I want to go wow. to. Literally, if you type in Skyscanner, yeah. Yeah. just put type in Italy for a day. Literally, it will come up. It will say something like from nine pounds. Okay. But you go the time that they tell they you tell to come. You. So okay. if it's like we went from me and my friend, we got there like seven thirty in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning, oh, that's, that's and nice we day. left at mm. like eight thirty in the evening. Yeah. So, so nice. we were literally there the whole day, whole day, and it was hot. So we really mm. did Dora the Explorer, <laughs> yeah. and then come back to England. Are you going back there? Nope. <laughs> Nope. Oh my god, that's lovely. Like, so yeah. Hakeem, your last number, please. Uh, four. Four. I choose love and let go of fear. Oh my god. Tell me god. about it, young man. Tell me about hey. it. He said four. Hey. You did. I've got a bunch of uh, love life issues. So, oh god. <laughs> yeah. We're here to help you, Daddy. <laughs> I, I'm not. You uh, babe, but I'm here to help you. Cool, Don't cool judge me. Yeah, I'm not here for you. Hey, obviously. I'm not going to talk too much in it, but yeah. I just got I got to figure out my life, innit? Um, yeah. Yeah, obviously. So are you in love now? Oh, God, you have yes, to think. Yes, he is. Yeah, no, I am, <laughs> innit? I am, innit? Um, I said yes, he you is. are. Because I can hear him through the through his door when, the he's, door when he's like, yeah, but I love her. Bro, shut up, man. No, <laughs> he's talking to his friend every day. I'm just like, I don't, I don't even ask because I don't care. I'm over it. <laughs> Every day it's yeah. an issue. I'm, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Um, I, with the fear, I think I don't think that's necessarily true for me to be honest. Because yeah. like, regardless, yeah, I'm always gonna be scared of love, innit? Are you? Yeah, I can't lie. Do you know even... why? Wait, is there a reason why you feel? No, nah, there's like not. That? There's not no specific reason. Just fear. actually, no, there is. There okay, is a us. lot of girls that I'm friends with cheat on their boyfriends, innit? Oh, um, yeah. God. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I don't. You know, there's, even, there's, there's not even yeah. a point in me trying to hide it. Yeah, like yeah. live. Yeah, a lot of my best friends. Yeah. For example, yeah, funniest mm. example as well. This girl, that's my, my my best friend, yeah. I'm not gonna say her name, yeah. Mm. Actually, no, shout out you, Aliyah. <laughs> yeah, Aliyah, why did you yeah, do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, my best friend Aliyah, yeah. So obviously, I chill with her all the time, yeah. Mm. But like, obviously, we're like, like we're, we're mad close, innit? And I, I don't think the guys that she talks to like this, like it, innit? Mm. And one time, she sent me a video, yeah, and it was a video of um, a TikTok, yeah, and it was like when when my man sat, um, when my, when I told my man I'm gonna go see my uh, my best my male best friend whatever in it, and it was it was just some it was a stupid video in it, and I was just like, bro, if I was your man, I wouldn't even like you, fam. So I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. So Did you get jealous. In a yes. Oh God. 
yeah, yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. To what I'm, extent? I'm cool. I'm cool with you having male friends and this and that, right? But, but for point. example, yeah. Aaliyah with me, my girl could not do that with her friends. Like, ah. <laughs> like it's not even like like we do anything double mad. Double standards. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not a double standards, isn't it? Because I, I, don't, I don't respect what she does. She's my best friend, isn't uh, it? Actually, no, I let this be known. But you feel anyways. comfortable with your yeah, best friend? I tell her this would all the time. you feel comfortable with your girlfriend and a male friend? Yeah, yeah, my like, oh, obviously, okay. the girl, this girl that I used to talk to, she um, she has a male best friend, innit? Mm. And, like, she obviously goes to my man's house, whatever, and I know the guy in it, he's cool, innit? Okay. Um, but the reason that I don't trust females, right, is because with Aaliyah, mm. yeah, even though she's my best friend, right, some of the stuff that she says or does, like, or whatever, or like post about, or whatever. Like, her, for example, it's, it's so mad that her little brother thinks that I'm her boyfriend. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So she would say, No, that's not a voice of my best friend. He's like, No, that's your boyfriend, whatever. Mm. And it's like, if I'm on the phone to my girlfriend, yeah, or I'm at my girlfriend's house, yeah, and then her she brother's like, Oh, was you not with your boyfriend earlier or something, talking about her best friend? I'm gonna be yeah. like, Bro, why, why, how are you acting? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I'm very how good at hiding to be my young jealousy. Again like this? Ooh, it's terrible. Difficult. No. Difficult. So. Now you've answered my questions, I'm going to play another song and yeah. I've got another set of questions which are fun ones, yeah? Oh, God, God, God. Yeah, yeah, not um, affirmation. Hope you don't mind. No, it's fine. Okay. So I'm going back to Aswad. I'm not playing no drill, nothing like that. Right? So <laughs> you said Aswad. You can sit there. Loved. Right? Um, right, okay, here we go again. Um, where am I? Where am I? Right, bear with me. Bear with me, people. I know you're waiting for my downfall. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, right, we're going to play. Uh, another um I need your love by Aswad and here it goes one second and in one second here it goes right enjoy there you go now you can have a break oh I forgot to tell you the toilet is just there if you want the toilet oh okay cool, well, thank yeah. you. hey let me get my other questions out this was a little bit more Sublime. Sublime. <laughs> That's the word. Have you got Wi-Fi in here? Yes, and the code is just there. You see it there? Wi-Fi details there. Z Y C L. Oh. Yeah, you see it just there? Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. no. <laughs> I ain't got glasses to go. Sorry. Oh God, the song's gone. Mm -mm. What music did you listen to in your youth, though, um, Hakeem? What music were you uh, on? I listened to a lot of. Um, I don't even know music. No, I actually think about this. But I listened to a lot of American music and a lot of. Um, like, I know a lot of. Uh, you know, like, is it. It's not 90s music, is it? That you yeah, it's nice. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, um, you baby. really did. Um, what's it called? Soldier Boy. Too. Yeah, Soldier Boy. Oh. It's more R&B. You was There's, more in that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, that's, I listened to that growing up, and then as I got older, obviously, drill just became a thing. Like now, yeah. like two. You need years. to explain that to me. Not yet. When we get yeah, online, because yeah. I don't understand it. I but, um, don't understand it. Yeah, I've, one bit. My, I can't, my favorite song at the moment is mm. Chris Brown and Aaliyah. Uh, the do, don't think they know song. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's my favorite song for years. Yeah, but like yeah, that kind of music though. Yeah, for that kind of period. Okay. So your mum never drew you back into the 80s because she's an 80s babe? You never knew... No, do you know, you know yeah? From the you 80s? Know, I, I don't know the difference between 80s and 90s music, innit? Okay. So when I kind of mix it up because there's a bunch of songs here that yeah. like, I know off the top of my head as soon as they come on. Yeah. Because mom, like, growing up, when mum was cleaning play. on certain days, playing yeah. at 24. Sunday. Yeah. Especially yeah. Sunday. Literally, or yeah. even in car journeys, yeah, music. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be that. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, literally. So, on repeat. Like there's some songs here yeah, that people wouldn't expect me to know, yeah, and then the songs start playing in the club. I start you singing off the song, yeah, yeah like easy. Um no, my daughter knows Tupac. Why do yeah, you know every Tupac song? Oh my god. She was like, because I just do. Then I'm just like, okay, I don't care that you know it, but I just want to know how I'd... No? Okay. She does the most, I swear to God. Her, yeah. I like her manifestation yeah. um. No, fine. I don't think people I'm understand. Serious, serious. She yeah, literally thematic. just says I said, if you ask her, how did you get on holiday? I manifest it. Manifest. Shut up. Like, Who does that? I manifest I'm going on holiday. No, but she does. And she says it with her chest. She'll be like, chest. Yeah, I manifest it. And then you just look at her and you just think, I want to punch you in the head. Because you're really in France now, doing up lifestyle, Do that because her auntie paid. Look at that. What a life. Yeah, Put and her dad is giving her the money. I, yeah. just, I just look at her. I wish I was you. I want to be like you. Hello. Oh. I hope you lot have had a good time. No, so we have. have you, yeah, really? it's been yeah. good. It's yeah. been yeah. good. Good. Yes. So we're kind of coming up to the end, but before we, I want to ask you some of these questions here. Mm -hmm. These are ones that I made up. So, be nice, prepared. Nice, Let nice. me hide it because I know how keep trying to look with your yeah, eyes. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> 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 oh. 
So when you mm. leave, does somebody else come? Someone else comes. So it's 24 7. This is so it goes oh, is right it? through midnight and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah because there's a guy that was on here yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think he was 12. Till something. Till two and then or one like was that. like, yeah, 10 till 12 or something. And then, yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the Goddess Jazzy Show. That was Aswad, you know, one of my favourites. And I'm still here with Michelle and Hakim. Hello. And yes. we're coming close to the, to the end, but I've got to start with my questions. You know, my made up questions that I normally give the guests. You know what it's like. So, here we go. Hakim, well, I'm going to start with you <laughs> first. The, my fun questions are 1, 2, 13. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I want you to choose. Let's see how many you can do. In choose four. Okay, cool. Yeah? Cool, cool, okay, cool. what's your first number? I have to keep going. Back. To okay, 13. 13 straight away? Yeah, yeah, uh -oh. so, yeah. I'm going to go with that unlucky number, innit? God, now I have to turn over the page. Hold on. <laughs> my, my. 13. This is beautiful. This is about you, I think. So, Hakeem, what would you say to your younger self? What advice would you give oh, to your younger my self? Oh, I tell my younger self everything I know now, innit? Yeah? Yeah. Give us I, some examples. Um, all right, number one, concentrate, innit? Um, mm. yeah, Is that in school, in yeah, life? What? Just in life, innit? Mm -hmm. Because when I was younger, just... I don't know, I, I I just didn't concentrate on the stuff that I really wanted. Didn't really know what... Obviously, no kids do, innit? Yeah. But, um, like, but I wish I concentrated more as a kid in school. Like, just in general, in terms of meeting people as well. Trying to be nicer to people as well. Because, mm. obviously, there's people that I knew in school that was going through stuff. That, yeah. that are going through stuff now from school, innit? Okay. And it's only now I'm trying to be nice to them because I felt bad, didn't it? Because I wasn't there but for back them. Back then, then, you didn't. Yeah. So, <laughs> just try to be nicer to people. Yeah. Um, concentrate mm -hmm. and put all your money into Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin, interesting. I, I would have been so rich. Yeah. Uh, if I put £100 in then, mm. and now I'd be rich. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, thank you very much for that advice, dear. <laughs> right, Michelle. Yes. One to thirteen. Well, you can't t take 13 now, so. One, one to. to yeah. In your own time, Michelle. Give me two. Give you two. Number two. You love two of you. it. All right. <laughs> Android or iPhone? iPhone. And why? Why? Because I don't know how to use an Android. <laughs> Literally, that's the only reason. The thing is, I want to get an Android because their battery lasts longer. Because my but friends iPhone got an... is so difficult. If any any problem, you have to go for cold and this and that. And no, do you know what? The last time I got an, I bought an I, uh, iPhone was mm. about four or five years ago. Yeah. I do down. Listen, my daughter's rich. Yeah. If someone yeah. that doesn't work. Yeah. She manifests. Rich. She manifests she getting a new phone. Manifests. I'm not even people. I'm not joking. My daughter <laughs> gets whatever she wants, and she does not work. <laughs> she gets new phones. Yeah. And she gives me her old one. Okay. So okay. this is her old phone. So when she upgrades, yeah, she gives me that one. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I've got iPhone sort of kind of up there, but. No, I want to go to Android because my boyfriend's got Android mm. and he seems to love his phone. But yes. yeah, I, I just... <laughs> Shout out to the Android lover, yeah, that's me. literally. Okay, good. Hakeem, your next number, please, dear. Uh, six. Six? Yeah. Your favourite pastime and why? What What is your favourite thing you like to do when you're relaxing or got time off and uh, why? I like to... Um... I don't even know, you know. That's no, mad. I don't really do that anything. That means you got no time off or nothing. Then. Nah, it's not even there's no time. I just don't do anything. No. <laughs> like when I have nothing to do, yeah, but like, I'm just probably just sleeping and watching TV, innit? Yeah, okay. like, I don't watch. I watch YouTube, innit? So like a lot of YouTube, like past the time. What for educational purposes or? Um, yeah, like do you know what it is? I, I I enjoy watching stuff that educates, innit? So like I like watching mm. stuff about planets and aliens and weird yeah, stuff like that, innit? Okay. Yeah. More nice. conspiracy first, uh, you know. Oh, you as well. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent with that. For okay. Real, Miss Michelle, your next number, please, dear. Four. Four. Yes. Your favourite colour and why? My favourite colour. My favourite colour is blue. Oh, God, say <laughs> yeah. that. Maybe we're sisters. Yeah. Blue is my colour. Blue is my favourite colour. But color. why is it your favourite colour? It's just because blue... I don't know. <laughs> it's a relaxing colour. Yeah, actually, yeah. It, like, you can put blue anywhere. Kitchen, yes. front room, bathroom, car, mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah. And it just... It's just nice. <laughs> nice. It's just a nice <laughs> colour. Like, it's just <laughs> nice. I like that answer. Color. Yeah, it's just nice. Okay, so Akeem, your next number, you can't have them numbers. Okay, seven. Seven. Mm. Let's have a look. You sure you want seven, Hakeem? Uh, All right. Not really, but oh, yeah. Well, you're going to get it now anyway. Favourite animal and why? Oh, this is mad. You know what, yeah, I don't even know. Probably a cat. Cat's my favourite animal. Why? Um, Because uh, I think a cat reminds me a bit of myself. Yeah? Yeah, I think like... Such as? Like, just... just Weird, isn't it? Like, the, yeah, 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 like cats, because cats like to relax, yeah, and they're just mm -hmm. so calm. Like, obviously, other animals, every other animal, yeah, just bare moving, isn't it? Whereas cats just seem so, like, just nonchalant and lazy, <laughs> innit? And I feel like that just reminds me of myself, like, or just how I want to be, like, just walking through life, not having a care in the world, someone yeah. doing all my stuff for me. Mate, like. he owns a snake, by the way. 
Yeah. Do you? you yeah, kind of yeah. I would have, I would have said snake, but yeah, yeah but like, I, do you hold the snake and all that? Yeah. yeah. Feed it and all that. Yeah. yeah. Like in terms of interest, my favorite animal would be like a crocodile, snake, dinosaur, oh. something like that. But like, just my actual favorite animal probably a cat. A cat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cats are just chilling. Yeah. Michelle, your next number, please. Number. Let's go with thirty-seven. There's it, no thirty-seven. It's 30, oh, one to fifteen. Gosh, and you had thirteen. <laughs> Let's go with <laughs> number six. Shut up, <laughs> number six. Yeah. This is what your son just said. I said you can't have the same number. Oh, you can't Why won't you concentrate? Okay, sorry, number one. <laughs> number one. What's your favourite food and why? Okay, so my favourite food is lamb. And pineapple chicken, and no, not really. The thing is, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling food, you, it? pineapple nice. is my favourite yeah, fruit. Yeah. So, yeah, but lamb, yes. because it's, you, can't, you can't get bored of lamb. That's true. Like, no? I'm sorry, chicken after a while, even it's yesterday boring. when I was just like, oh, I'm tired of chicken, like, please, <laughs> lard. But lamb, you can't get bored of it because oh. you get lamb neck, yeah. you get lamb ribs. Lamb so, shank, everything. You get, yeah, yeah, like yeah, lamb yeah, shank. Yeah, like, yeah. you can get anything from lamb. Chicken <laughs> is just... Wings, thigh, breast, yeah. leg. And that's it. Noth nothing else. And that horrible nibbly bit. You know, yeah, what you literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Hakeem, since you've been listening, your mum hasn't. What's your next number, please? <laughs> um, okay, I actually don't know. Uh, seven, seven. 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 Yeah. I can do that. No, you can't have seven. You've done, Hakeem, it you've done seven. Was your favorite like, animal? Oh, okay, eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your favorite car and why? You know, you ask me the maddest questions, innit? Because I don't actually know none of these answers to my mum myself. Ever. Um, Favorite car definitely uh, Audi e-tron. It's just it's, what is that? It's uh <laughs> it came out it came out this year. It's it's just like a what like, is it close? So what other car does it look like that old folks would oh, kind of know? A Audi. Audi, what is it called? Audi. It's called the Audi e-tron, isn't it? But it's just like a better version of an Audi. Um, I don't even know that. You know, is. Do you know, do you know what an Audi R8 is? Yeah. Oh, them cars are ugly. No, 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 no. Racing car. No, okay, no, no, no. Sorry, let me show you guys because I. Uh, it's not a racing car. No, Audi oh, R8. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a sport, like sports rich car. Yeah, oh, you have yeah, to yeah. Go look when you're sitting oh, so on, on the floor. Lower, oh, yeah, I oh. can't take all of them cars. So why do you like it? What, what's your reason for liking it? Because it's just sleek and smooth, isn't it? Like yeah. the thing is, I don't like being. Oh yeah, look at me flashy and that. Because I, if, if, like, for example, I like Lamborghinis, isn't it? But okay. like, I wouldn't. Like, I think about cars that I would personally drive. Oh, right. Yeah, that's why. Right. So when you ask my favourite car, I just think about a car I would actually want yeah, to drive that I'll pay for. So okay. I think it's like a hundred k. So like that's what I'm saying. Having a car. Yeah. It's not feasible, so it is a dream car in a way, yeah, at the moment, yeah. Okay. But like, my, I feel like your dream car would have to be a car you would actually drive. That it wouldn't drive. make sense to make put, put in a car that you wouldn't even drive, so you know what I'm saying? That's a great answer. So, Michelle, Let's your next number, please. Ten. Ten. Yes. So you've been listening now, we thank yes. God. Right. <laughs> favourite season and why? What's your favourite season? Man, oh, let's just say... Think. Yeah, because I was going to take my birthday, but my birthday's in winter. I found this out on February the 28th. I was so vexed. That's I was like, yeah, month, my birthday's in spring. Oh, it's spring. spring it's not, it's summer. It's um, winter. My birthday's oh, in winter. winter. Yeah, That's February. why February will snow. Yeah. My birthday snowed on my birthday like three times. And I'm like, why is it so cold? So <laughs> let's go with summer. Summer's your favourite. And why? Yeah. The obvious answer is it. Because you can get naked, man. <laughs> God, this you can woman. wear no clothes. <laughs> you can get naked and drink cocktails for no reason. Because it's hot outside, let's go and drink cocktails. Literally, <laughs> get naked and drink cocktails. <laughs> right, this question, I'm going to ask both of you. Okay. Put the mic here. Would you rather, I'm going to start with you first, Hakeem. Yeah. Would you rather start again at age six? Yeah. With all the knowledge that you have now, yeah. or ten million pounds now, today, 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 Yo. think nah. today, today, I today, know what now, answer. <laughs> ah, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. God. Oh no, nah, I couldn't be six again though. Having this knowledge, that'd be so. Jarring. Imagine you're six years old. You got all. You're twenty. You got Bro. all of what you said to me today, Bro. which is fabulous. And you'll you be age six or today ten million pounds. I'll take the ten million, man. Wow. Day, yeah, I do. Because you, uh, you know what? Your past is your past. It is what it is, isn't it? Like, there's no point in even trying to change it. Nice. Uh, I don't really care. That's give me kind 10 of the same answer a lot of the guests say as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Give okay. me 10 million now and I'll make more money. Really <laughs> <laughs> Great. Michelle, the same question. Would yeah. you rather start again with everything you know now at age six, with all the knowledge and everything, or 10 million pounds Give now? me the 10 million pounds. Do you know the right. amount of beating I took from... from <laughs> yeah. So being age six, let's say I, I was taking licks from about nine. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, even being from going from age nine to ten in one year, do you know how much licks can from you, your parents is? That's long. Everywhere. 
everywhere, head, toes, knees, and yeah, getting just licks because you don't know how to behave, getting drapes up, getting cast. Yeah, that's stress. Allow it. Just give me the ten million because I'm doing all of this to be rich because I want money anyway. I want stability. So run me the ten mil. Yeah. My man is smart. Yeah. He will get eight. He'll probably take the whole. He'll take probably take nine. Give me one and be like, yeah, you can do that. What you want? Rubbish with that one. I'm gonna take this nine and I'm gonna flip it. And I'm quite happy to say, okay. <laughs> my friends, listen, I'm paying for a cruise. What are you guys saying? <laughs> oh, bless yeah, you. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to flip the nine mil. So when we come back, yeah. it's gone from nine mil to 20 mil. Yeah, baby, do your thing. But I've got one mil to be stupid. Oh, my God. Manifest gosh. like what my daughter Manif does. Yeah. Manifest holidays and bags and stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, guys. That has been beautiful. Thank you for your time, your energy, your your stories, your everything. I so appreciate it. Honestly, no God, I appreciate thank it so much. Thank us. you so yeah. much. Yeah. So I'm going to play the last tune to, to call us out and then we're going to take pictures mm -hmm. and then we're going to wrap it up. So people of the universe, I'm going to leave you with a lot of love, kisses and blessings until next week. It's been your host, Goddess Jazzy. It's been my guest, Michelle. And it's been my guest, Bye, Michael. guys. Thank you. Have a good so day. Much. Thank you. And now I'm going to play Best of My Love, You Know Who by... Yes, that's what. Hakeem, don't be like that. <laughs> oh my god, that's what. There we go, and enjoy. As what is Look at as what. Right? Boy. If you didn't like it, your mum would, right? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> oh dear. And that was it. That was yeah, funny, yeah. Bro. Did you enjoy yeah, yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, good. I'm just going to let it. Um, Play it, and then we're gonna take. I'm gonna take pictures of the two of you with that background. That will go on the website. Cool. Me and you, me and you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, like that. Yeah, ching, yeah. ching, and all that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So that's good. And did you like my questions? Good. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. I can't lie. I made it, it up. Good. Jesus. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I made them ones up. Yeah, How long did it take you to make it up? <laughs> Too long, dear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Too long. And I learned how to do a playlist. My son put it to mum, you need to learn to do this. I'm like, how do you do yeah. that? How do you copy a pace? He hates yeah, me asking for anything, that. but I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what was those words again? Right. Not pen. <laughs> it was pen. Pattern. Pattern. Like, what is it? Pattern and what? Pattern uh, and um, Plug and pattern. Plug and pattern. Right. Yeah. And what does it mean? Please, so, pattern is what? The pattern is like the guy who sorts everything out. Sorts so, out. You know what you say to your son, yeah? Yeah. If you say to your son, um, <laughs> if he says, mum, I'm hungry, yeah? Yeah. He'll like, be like, um, what, you, want, you want me to pattern you some food? Let me just say it. That's actually so uh, funny. <laughs> he will look at you and be like, what did you say? What did you say, Mom? <laughs> you 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 yeah, do you want me to pattern you some food? When he says, oh, uh, Mom, can you make me food or I'm hungry or whatever, I say, do you want me to pattern you some food? You'll be like, what? And then okay. he'll be like, what did you say? I'm the plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Plug is what now? Plug is the. You're basically the boss. The boss. Yeah, you sort out what I need in it. Yeah, I'm sorting out the food. So do you want me to pattern you some food? He'll be like, what? I'll be like, I'm the plug. Yeah, the plug. Good. And the other one was Peng. Peng meaning outside. Pretty cute. Pretty okay, Peng. Yeah, yeah. And so when your husband they, would say to your husband, so when he's like, babe, what do you think of this outfit? You look peng, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my days. Are you days. dumb? You look oh, yeah, <laughs> That's actually, that was so funny, They'll be looking at you like, what do you say, bro? Because peng back in the day for us was um, eyeing you up. Yeah. That was eyeing you up. That's basically it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like buff and that as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's that as well. Buff. Not that yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. 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 mercy. I'm getting with the young people. Why not? Jesus Christ. Your husband might start doing it. No, babe, you didn't go to the gym, but he might be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you mean I'm buff? Yeah, no, no, no. Your outfit makes you look nicer than what you are. You're nice. I love it. And funny enough, I've seen my son later, so I'll be saying that to him. Do you want me to pattern you? Do you want to be patterned, son? Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, you want, you want to be fat. <laughs> no, that sounds dirty, innit? Yeah. Like, just wait for him. He's going to ask you something. Yeah. Does he normally come to you for food and stuff? Because he, he's vegan, so he's really hard work. Okay, cool. So, yeah, he's but he'll vegan. ask you. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win right there. As soon as he comes to ask you, what, you want to pattern you some vegan food? Yeah, yeah, when he comes to you, he'll be like, son, do you want me to pattern you some vegan food? He'll be like, what? He'll be like, I'm the plug. Yeah, you know I'm the plug. Yeah. And then walk off like this. I can answer the phone now, yeah? Yes, darling. Oh, okay, yes, cool, you yeah. can. Without a doubt. Yes, darling. Oh. Yes, brother. Yes, darling. You Where's Shippa the shiny? He should have been here yeah, as well. Nice chilling. Really? Yeah, tell him to come back next time. Yeah. Hey. Where well, you got your music properly done yes. and ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your CD. Yeah, why, oh, oh, do you not have any business stuff that you guys can come and talk about? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 come yeah, back. Yeah, come back. I can definitely get my partner. AJ will definitely be more than happy to. Because Abdullah's like, when you see Abdullah, Abdullah's... You know why no one thinks that he's a gang member. Yeah, he... Yeah. He's so different. 
Is it? Oh, yeah, tell him to come. Yeah, without and a literally, doubt. Sure, he yeah. sits here, even the way he talks. Mm-hmm. And I, like when he comes into my house, I call them the gay boys. Yes. Because you walk around with the same tracks. So I'm just going to Abdullah's house. Oh, mum, I'm just going to every minute I'm going to Abdullah's house, your boyfriend. <laughs> and then they're just looking at me like, what? Okay, yeah, and now I'm going to play like. the last track before the news. And I will see you and hear from you next week. And this is called Aswad again. 5446 was my number. So enjoy. Yeah. In about a few more minutes' time. And that was the Goddess Jazzy Show. And here's my next song by Aswad. Here we go. That's it. And that will play off. Everything's off. Good. So somebody else will come now? Yeah, they'll come now and take over and this and that. Man, thank you so much. So, let so me bad. take this off. And I'm going to take a picture of you so that this will be on the arm. Um... Okay. Wow. Hello. 